life is okay. Hi guys, you know, and we have a very special guest here today in our Tay Tarik session. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and uh, you know, it's Bobby. Hello, <laughs> hello. Reason, you know? And uh, yeah, thank you very much, Bobby, for coming on board. Yeah, to uh, hey. my cartoon show. Yeah, uh, the name no cartoons problem. because I I find it quite quite fun, quite a fun name. Uh, can be cartoons. Cartoons, <laughs> cartoons, yeah, yeah, and anything to do with cars, lah, you know, basically. And yeah, life in general, lah. Yeah. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, we got Luke. Yeah, that's on board already with us. Yeah, hello, Luke. Yeah, good afternoon. You, that's my coffee here, guys. Yeah, I do not know whether you guys made your coffee or tea tarik or not. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, so that drinking, uh, yeah. Tana will <laughs> join us shortly because uh, he he was taking his wife uh, for yep. uh, vaccination. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So when he gets back, he will join us. Yeah. And uh, you know what we are going to talk about today is about you know HP per RM. <laughs> you know, so bucks. You know how much your money. You know. Horsepower ratio, horsepower ratio to the ringgit. All right. Yeah, so that is a very nice topic because when we go te tarik and all that, uh, everybody starts to talk about what, wow, how many horsepower my car can make. Uh, your car making how many horsepower? Uh, dyno. Uh, yeah. And uh, it goes on and on. Uh, yeah. That's what car guys talk about each time when we, uh, you know, sit down and uh, have a chat. Uh. So you know, it, it, it will definitely be 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 Volkswagens now, right? Oh, definitely, especially because, the Redux boys, lah. Yeah. yeah, you need <laughs> you need a car with a turbocharged engine with a very yep. vibrant aftermarket community, uh, and brands and products, and yep. exceptionally bad resale value. <laughs> <laughs> and all this will fall into place together. Uh. Uh, yes, yes. Hey, Tana. Hi. Hey, guys. Yo. Yes. Hey, whoa. How's everything, right. man? At your end? Okay. Your yeah, wife? Just, just made it. <laughs> From <laughs> PLBC. Wow. Well, well, well. Very oh, nice. She's okay. Good uh. to she's have okay you on board. Everything the, good? Yeah, so far. Vaccination. Okay. But my wife, okay. my wife complained. Like, she said, every time I have something on the train, you got something on with your car, your car guys. Like. <laughs> oh, don't, don't worry. Tomorrow she won't nag you as much. Why? Oh. <laughs> Tomorrow be like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Tomorrow be one day. Ah, today, today, hey, no one nagging me. Right? Am I doing all the right things today? I don't know. Very good, right? <laughs> It's a little very quiet, eh? <laughs> what, what did your wife get? You know, her, her vaccination. Actually, I need to ask. I just got in the car, came here. I haven't asked him. <laughs> what? Because I mean, I mean, we got we got in the car. We came here straight away. So I yeah. haven't had to speak to her what she got and stuff. So yeah. We'll see. <laughs> How did you? What do you think about? What do you think about the vaccine, yeah. Bobby? You know, all these vaccines, you know. Uh, AZ and Sinovac and you know people are saying I don't want to do this vaccine and that vaccine you know, um, I... yeah. Would yeah. you? I mean, would you? Would you uh, shop for vaccines or will you say take whatever you get <laughs> At first, of course, all of us is like, wow, AZ them scary and no, I no, I think the one with the least uh, <laughs> uh, the, the the least side effect. Uh, everybody wants Sinovac, Sinovac. Then when when push comes to shove, I don't care. I just give me anything. <laughs> Hello. Correct. Hello. Yeah, correct. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, yes. and I think that the, the data is always changing. Like initially, it was AZ was the one that's the most, um, I guess, with side effects. With those, uh, four, uh, five cases of 
blood clots in a million. Now they're saying Pfizer is four yeah. out of one million. So it's like back to square. Actually, yeah. Actually, I've I've looked at, uh, previously. I've looked at the data also. <laughs> Pfizer's side effect also more or less the same as the same. Easy. It's just that. Uh, yeah. They they are they are better at the at the media gamer I guess. Mm, 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 yep. mm. Correct, yeah. Correct. 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 Yeah. yeah. So um. Mm, and, and, yeah. And the doctors were saying that actually when you inject, you know, we we actually you know there's brains that actually go to our heart, right? yeah. So if you inject it too deep in, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, when they inject in too deep, and then the, if there's blood that is actually flowing back, uh, that means they hit the vein already, you know. Instead of your muscles, oh. so they should actually pull back. Yeah, then only really they inject in because if they inject in straight away, you know the the chances of blood clot is there lah. So I guess oh. you know it's because of that you know the way it was administered rather than uh, actually the issue mm. the issue with the vaccine yeah. yeah. So yeah. you know there we go. Yeah. Mm. But, but anyways, I just yeah. I just asked a I just asked a doctor just now because mm. I brought my wife to the. Uh, doctor just now she sprained her back huh? oh, so okay. yeah 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 and and uh, we were chatting uh, because the, the mm. doctor is i mean I, I i did not go to that clinic for like 15 years you know then mm. uh of course the doctor cannot recognize me uh, but yeah. but after i say then he saw me he said oh you why go slow when you can go fast or oh, <laughs> <damn funny. laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so he was. Yeah. We, both of us were discussing the the videos that we saw online, whereby we clearly see mm. there are nurses in Thailand, in, in Indonesia, and over here that they just put in the, you know, the injection, and then they yeah. didn't they didn't inject and then pull out. It's like mm. I asked him what's what's going on with this. He was like, "Yeah, man, I have no idea." He was like, "That yeah. is so scary to watch," you know, like yes. So oh, we lost Anna. Uh, is it? Yeah, I think my... so. <laughs> yeah. Or, Tana, or he, he was hidden. Tana just went... <laughs> yeah, I think he will be back. Will be anyway. Back. Yeah, uh, again, we'll put him back on. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. We have 40 people now. Yeah. 40 you want to welcome the, us, the, huh? the, the people that, that join us, uh, Mike? Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, I had to okay. go back out and come back in. Can you hear me uh, clearly now? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I went out and came back in. So uh, let's welcome the yeah. guys that have joined us now. So we've yep. got uh, Luke Shai here. Say hi, Bobby. Yeah, so hello. Again, thank you hello. for joining us in uh, yeah, hello. Sunday. We got Sean Ko, obviously. Um, yeah, got, Sean has uh, been uh, always with us, uh, Sean. Yeah, thank yes, you very correct. much. <laughs> yes, we got Never Zafri go. Zahid. Thank you for joining Zahid. us, Zafri. Yeah, we got we Henry. Henry. Plain water is fine for me. I'm lost now. What we're talking about? <laughs> no, we were talking about the coffee. I already finished my coffee, actually. <laughs> I'm going to plain uh, water already. It's so good. <laughs> and, and Henry will say, hey, horse, horse, I think horse power relates only if you're doing higher speed. I don't know about that. Love. I think you're talking about how the car drives, is it? Horse power and talk? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, no. horsepower is the result of talk times revolution. I know, mm. Bukabe, no matter how often we do this topic about horsepower and, and RPM and talk, people is still have got a difficulty. Like, you know, so I think I think this is a good segment because before we go into, yeah, how, how would you do this? Describe it? Because we are taking a scientific unit, which is mm. talk, mm. and a rubbish unit, which is horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's unscientific. That's it's it's a it's uh it's, it's it's the stupidest power unit that we just cannot get rid of it, you know. Because mm, yes, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, it shows how how big. I'm, I mean, better don't say it. Uh, how big your what is <laughs> when you're driving it? You know? <laughs> That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good way of putting it. Horsepower is almost like a marketing marketing data that we put out to show. Uh, oh, I got more or less, correct? Because if you yeah, think about it, correct. It's, yes. it, because it, even in the peak, Bobby is different, correct? You, you may not even hit the peak while normal driving. It is yep. because it is it is not a power figure that has become a power figure. It is a measurement of work being done. Hmm. Yes. 
right? I like yeah, it is yes. actually a measurement. Yes. Mm. But like but the moment you go into the scientific explanation of horsepower, the whole romanticism with the word horsepower is gone. You oh. know, it's like it's like that 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 feel of yeah, oh, high horsepower. Horse. You know the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so so so. Imagine if like, like cow power. <laughs> like like <laughs> uh, the the correct the correct uh unit measurement unit should be kilowatt ma. Mm. Right, K, K, yes. but it just doesn't sound like horsepower, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It just doesn't have the kick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, when you say horsepower, <laughs> uh, oh. or yeah. like, or like, uh, donut media, hush, 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 hush. Yeah, <laughs> not, not, sure, not sure if Mike watches donut media. Yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very fun watching his videos, actually. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, fun fantastic. Fun, fun. <laughs> And I think that the way they, the way actually they put into perspective for people to absorb the, the data, it's, mm. it's it's very good, very relatable. It's fun, you know. Yeah. So I think, uh, good, good on them, Good on them. Yeah, like Con said, because kilowatts doesn't sound as sexy as horsepower. Yeah. Because kilowatts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Con is saying that. Yeah. How, yeah. how did the term horsepower first come about, Bobby? Do you know? Uh, is is because last time they used horses to do stuff. Uh, I think that was. But, mm. but 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 one horsepower isn't one horse ride. Pulling? No 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 no. It's not. It's not. It's it's about yeah. uh pulling. Don't know what for one a, a distance and over a distance one. If, uh. if you just search Wikipedia, you can find it. Oh. Mm. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, uh. yeah. It is the uh, it calculated through the power needed to move five hundred fifty pounds. Mm. One foot in one second, okay. something like that. Yeah, it's also against time and distance, on. Yeah. So, like I said, it's the result of work being done. Uh, interesting, interesting. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 I think we should just start with our intro. Uh, mm. Did we have done the intro before I came? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think I haven't done the intro yet. No, so again, we haven't done the intro yet. Okay, so guys, welcome. We do the intro now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. welcome to uh, cartoons, and uh, this is a Sunday at four pm on fourth July, at four pm fourth July. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. Okay, let's start. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's our, that's our intro for uh, cartoons. Thank you thanks for joining us on a Sunday afternoon. Yes. You can be elsewhere, but you're joining with us because it's raining and you have nowhere to go because it's MCO. Uh, yeah. MCO. So, so EMCO, I forget, I forget. I don't know how do you keep track of MCO, EMCO, FMCO, whatever it is. But Bobby, I guess the topic for today is um, we began with the idea of meeting your heroes, you know, and sometimes yeah, uh, yeah. Ringgit, Ringgit and mm. Pasawa doesn't really relate to what you expect. Uh, before we go into, I guess, that topic, what were your, the cars that you have probably driven and you kind of like, oh, I'm a bit sad. Like, I thought one thing and, and something else came out when you actually drive the car. Yeah. Oh, you mean like, uh, I thought it was like that. Then when I drive, it's like that. Yeah. Mm. RS6. RS6. Mm. Which yeah. RS6 for me? <laughs> <laughs> the one, the, yeah, the one that we bought. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's Ouch. super comfortable. It's really fast. It covers pace, amazing. Um, mm. And uh, it 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 it's just so easy to go 180, 220, 230 on any kind of roads. But it's not even as engaging as the as the V90 Volvo that. That I was driving for a while, the wagon Volvo, mm. the V90, mm. yeah, mm. and uh, mm. it's it's not it's also only about half as exciting as my S4. Even though my S4 is a is an understeer mess, uh, it's a mess mm. of an understeer. The RS6 doesn't because it has a lot of clever torque transfer, you know, vectoring and all that yeah. nonsense going on. Mm. But after driving it, it's just like a I think it's the same as when I got into the G, don't know what, 
It's basically the G30 generation M5 la. In the current generation M5, mm. yeah, it's the same feeling. Yeah. It's like so comfy, so yeah. nice. Yes, it's fast, it's, but yeah. there's no, there's no it zing. Right. It doesn't it doesn't have that that magic, you know, that that makes you mm. like 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 you will choose to drive it over the other car all the time. Mm. Uh, yeah, and of course the the Civic FK8 R as well. Uh, Ferrari 488. Uh, yeah, these are cars that the the expectation and then just yeah. Uh, in a way, the 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 FF and the Lusso as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it because <laughs> those cars are too capable, uh, Bobby? That it does everything for you, <sighs> then you are like not much for me to do. Kind of I, I, I actually I I'm 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 touching a, a zone whereby I do not mm. have the the enough vocabulary or knowledge to mm. actually dissect what is it that I that I don't get to feel it, but I can only use the word <laughs> like you know the word that when people say oh oh it tickles my balls, you know. It's like this cast doesn't, you know. <laughs> The mm. the Mercedes E sixty three, oh, that one is like, holy cow, man! That car <laughs> just, it it it's just crazy. makes you want to drive and drive and drive and push and push, push and push. Of course, eventually, and of course, it's not as comfortable as the RS six. It's not as even as mm. high quality the interior build and all that. But it just is yeah. the way it makes you feel. I guess yeah. So it's a funny thing. Some cars uh, make me feel like, wow, they're nice to drive. But we have to we have to separate between first month of ownership or the first three months of ownership and then three years of ownership. I'm sure the RS6 is a car that that I would definitely love uh, by the second or third year or what whatnot. Nah. I, I, actually, I we bought it also because we know we will love it. You know, it's mm. just that all the reviews that we read about how great it drives, it's yeah. it's just a very, very, I don't know how to put it. Uh, it's, it's, I, I would call it a very fast dilam, a uh, very comfortable dilam, you know, very fast so far, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Is it, is, it like, is it like if you didn't see the review of the RX, you bought RX, you're like, oh, this is a nice car. But because you've seen the reviews and you know what, what people think to expect for, and you can do it like, okay, man, yeah. it's good, like, no? No, it's that it's, it's just that those people they purposely put it into sports mode, and then uh, drive aggressively, trying to make the the drive fun. But every car has their inherent character, right? Hmm. The inherent character of the RS6 is to one is to let you to cruise at relaxingly at a very high speed. Mm -mm -mm. So so it is it is the kind of car where you can be doing 230, 240, 250 without breaking sweat, you know, maybe still chatting in the car. It's that is that type of car. So uh that's why weekend drives you all seldom see me bring that car out. <laughs> it's always yeah. the Aston or the six series, right? Like I seldom like bring that car out. Okay. Correct, correct. I always like okay. Today, what we must bring, I want to go in the RX6 you know, but never you never bring the RX out. Yeah, yeah. never, never out. <laughs> It will always lose out. The morning, if I bring all three car keys, I walk to my parking lot, right? It will yeah. be my last choice. It will <laughs> always be my last choice. Hmm. You know? Because what? the 6 Series, I can I can enjoy at, at 40 kmh. Right? Mm -hmm. And mm. the, the, the Aston is, is just a, an amazing car to drive. The, the way it sounds, the way it yeah. drives, is, is just, it's just brilliant, uh, that car. So, so yeah, look. But would a different driving in that same kind of format excite you more? Would it would maybe the uh, the four liter V eight, the sedan, or maybe it's a three liter Quattro? Would any of the other variants uh, be more exciting to you? In which body that, you mean? The, the, same, the same body, the same A sixty seven body. Uh, different engine. Mm -hmm. Will it be? Is it an issue with the engine or is it? No la, The engine is. is I mean. I've had a very fast drive as well with another M mm. five, right? With mm. a friend. Uh, mm. Vishnu, yeah. I think, is his is an M five mm. competition, 
And uh, of course, it was a sparse traffic Sunday morning. And we're coming back from Ulu Yam. We took the Rawang Bypass. And the two cars, we are doing things that the, the, the other what, 3.8, Carrera, they cannot do this kind of thing. You know, it's like you are, mm-hmm. in, a, you are in a sparsely traffic road. Yep. And then you are in sports mode. The moment you pull down two gears, you dump the petrol, right? You, you, can, you can do things like this. You know, whereas the Carrera yeah. would need to, <laughs> you know, yeah. so, the two of us, right, the M5 and the R6, yeah, both cars can do things like, Wom! like that. Yeah. And then you go, you saw, you saw the next gap, Wom! And we were doing this, you know, and yeah. then, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, and uh, Thomas Yap, they all were like, hey, bro, cannot catch up, la. we don't have turbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, in that sense, it's crazy. You can do things that, yes. Like, mm. Yeah, even a 458 cannot do, yeah. yes, yes, the 458 cannot do something like that. It needs time to, hey, you know, you need to build that. Yeah, rest. Cool, yeah. yeah whereas these two, these two monsters just boom, boom, <laughs> boom, like that. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, because you guys got six, seven hundred newton meters of torque. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a lot. Yeah, yeah it's the yeah. torque. Right? It's the torque. Right? Yeah, it's just yeah the torque is massive. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, so Bobby, we got something to share here. Um, yeah. And I guess maybe um, it's... Um, I'll just share my screen now. So, mm. we got two luxuries. I can see my screen. Luxury sedans over here. So, so luxury like, no? So, we got a, a 204, <laughs> 205 BMW 3. Uh, 3.2 sedan. And we've got the 204 Camry. Now they're both 20k. Can you believe it or not? They're both 20k today. You know? uh, <laughs> That's the crazy part about this. And I guess um trying to put dollar value, like, like people like me, la, I'm not what you yeah. call it, cheap skit. I got money, but I'm, I'm cheap, you know. So <laughs> so and, and, and I'll go like hmm, highest depreciation. That's what I'm gonna buy for, and you go ring it for half hour. But then you look at this, this two cars here is what do you look at i guess these two cars you know like probably one is more possible one is lesser but i guess <laughs> dynamics there's so many things happening over here what is your take Bobby? i'll take the camry over this seven series anytime bro wow <laughs> I, I will not touch that seven series uh okay first of all put aside the, the maintenance that is not the thing that i'm afraid of Okay. Uh, of, of of these European cars lah, uh, but oh, wow, eh, the, I don't know, man. The way this car looks uh, um, I don't know. I I I, 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 I besides the bungle look, <laughs> it's like it's like very opulent look like, you know? It's like I'm big. I'm coming for you. You know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. Hey, nineteen thousand uh, What? Ah, can you believe yeah, that? Yeah, nineteen thousand man. Same year, Ayo. man. Can I can I take the Audi A8 from this year? <laughs> Audi A8. Yeah, okay, we can find no problem. One second. But that car wouldn't be at nineteen k lah. The Audi. No, no, A8, no, wait, no, wait, no, no. It would be a yeah, lot yeah. higher. No, I think that no, would no, be no, about fifty, sixty k. Yeah, yeah, it would be a yeah. lot higher. I'll, I'll, I'll take yeah. that. I, I went, so, went for a. I went for a morning drive with uh, Audi S8 of that generation, the one with the V10 Ooh. engine. Ooh. Yo. Ooh. And the car is in its original dark purple color, the Audi wow. exclusive color. Oh my mm. God, it's just yeah. such a beauty, you know. V10, yes. yep. short wheelbase A8. Oh. And uh, yeah. you know, the way the way the design is uh, and the way the body is, uh, the aluminum uh-huh. full aluminum body, uh, yeah, so beautiful, yes. uh, the proportions, the proportions yeah. of the car. Yeah, the yeah. rear end uh, is up to today. It still looks so beautiful. <laughs> but, but so, Anna, why, why, why did you, why did you put that two car? You, you, well, you... The, 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 well, the the reason is I think uh, a lot of people when they look for cars and uh, mm. they go to the concept of okay, this is my dollar value, this is my budget, and yeah. this year can can afford, and they go yeah. like okay, I want I don't have the best bang for buck. Yeah, and, yeah. And I guess. I guess the, the reality is, I think um, uh, going back to the same uh, slide, uh, let's go back there. It's like I think there's more to it, um, I mean, you went for obviously the uh, the Camry, but let's say forget about. Uh, look at I guess the one is weight, it's weight there, it's power, and the VM comes at about two hundred engine. Uh, it's oh, it's a three point six VM. Yeah. Uh, what engine is this one? I think it's a seven three five. 
Oh, six, 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 yeah, right, look at the model. 3.5, yeah. Mm. So, okay, so, I, mm. so I guess from a, people to say power to weight ratio, this is 136 uh, watt per kilogram on the BM, mm, mm, and that's mm, 104 mm. watt per kilogram. I'm trying to look at this very scientifically, like, you know? Um, and then you've got obviously one is rear wheel drive, one is front wheel drive, you know, it's, yeah. a, it's a different dynamic altogether. But same money, no, 20k, no, same money, same money, can same I, year. Can I take can I take 20k and buy the seven series before this? Uh, the E38, <laughs> uh, I, I will go for that, I'll definitely go for that. It's just oh my right. god, this is just so <laughs> so sad. Uh? Do you know that BMW, right, in their seven series history model lineup, right? Hmm? Okay, uh, this is the only 7 Series from BMW that has ever beaten the S-Class in sales. Really? This model, yeah. The 7 Series never beaten the S-Class before. Only hmm. this generation, this ugly yeah. piece of shit 7 Series, <laughs> it was the first yes. time that BMW dethroned the S-Class. And then, of course, later on, they facelift the headlamp, right? Which, which made it hmm. look very hmm. normal. In BMW's own like like history model lineup, right? They didn't even want to put this one, you know. They put the facelift one, you know. <laughs> even though this one <laughs> helped them beat the S class, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but that that being said, this uh oh, it's a V eight. Nice, Derek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Three point six. Uh, huh? This generation Camry, my family had it. It's not the most reliable Camry, you know. The aircon vents yeah. all break. The paint was shit. The headlamps get yellowish very, very quickly. Uh, the seat motors all dead. Uh, by the time the car was eight years old. Because I remember I had my Subaru Legacy that time, which mm. my, my family's Camry is 2005. And my Subaru was uh, 2003. It's two years earlier than the Camry. My Subaru, right? Everything in the car, everything works. No uh, uh cracking plastics none yeah and uh the whole engine bay cover everything was just perfect whereas our family camry right wow it was like literally like the paint got faded uh wipers stopped working the uh the seat seat uh power seats all failed and then the transmission was like making a lot of noise the car was losing power all that nonsense tail lamp melting yeah. Did you have drive shaft issues on that car? Uh, yes, steering rack, drive shaft, all got sound. Yeah, yeah. That, suspension that generation, also, right? That, yeah. Yes, yes. That generation is not is totally not reliable. Yeah, and then also uh, dashboard cracking. Steering oh, my Subaru also. had my Subaru had dashboard cracking. That was the first time Subaru put a oh. soft touch dashboard, and then it cracked. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I but I wrapped it in leather after that. I wrapped it in leather after that. Yeah, you know the, the early 2000s, all the soft touch plastic all cracked, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Even, uh, even all the IS European cars, cars uh, mm, even mm, all the European mm. cars all melt. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they literally melt. When I had a Volvo V, V70 or so, uh, every yeah. week my son Brian was picking up plastics in the car. Ah. Every week something is falling off the car. <laughs> yeah, that was the 90s, right? <clears throat> late, uh, late 90s, uh, ah, late 90s. That was fun. Uh, when Europe suddenly say, oh, bio, biodegradable plastic. <laughs> yeah. you know? Yes, yeah. yes. Everybody would need to go and find suppliers. And, yeah. <laughs> One day we were pulling down the, the hatch at the back, right? The whole thing fell off. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <Terrible. Normal. laughs> yeah. Mm. But, but I guess I guess it's a point here. The Camry does like a boat. I guess the Camry... Boat, yeah. 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 It's a boutique yeah. car, like, definitely a boutique car. But that was the mm. the the time when uh, Camry and Camry grow the car so big, right? And mm. Accord followed suit. It made mm. a lot of uh, SME bosses question themselves why they need an E class or a five series. Mm. They get mm. this type of luxury in the car, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, remember last time Malaysians they buy at Camry Accord. And then their next upgrade path is the Sephiro. Remember mm -hmm. that time? Yes. Before they go V6, German, V6. they go Sephiro first, right? Yeah. And V6, that was V6. the time. Yeah. When when Camry and Echo came out with these two ginormous yes. Cam Camry and Echo, was also the time when uh, Nissan suddenly, 
oh, no more Sephiro. We call it Tiana. It's like, oh, the sales yeah. just went die. T- yeah. Tiana was yeah. a horrible car. I think uh, my friends who bought Tiana, all of them complained the car is not reliable, the gearbox issues, maintenance. It's just, uh, this is a horrible car to have. Yeah, uh, and the V6 as well is uh, quite uh, troublesome to maintain uh, the V6. That's why everybody say Carlos go and save Nissan, save his shit. Lah. He's the one who ruined Nissan. Right? <laughs> He's the yeah, guy who yeah. ruined Nissan, right? Yeah. Yeah. Talking talking about big cars and big boot, uh, Bobby. We got a video I want to show you, yeah. and after the video, yeah. we need some uh, answers from you, lah. Okay. 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 All right. uh, okay. Let's thank go. you. <laughs> Thirty years old. I collect. Wow. Wow. I get to collect the very different types of road kills. You know, we help clean up the streets. <laughs> Walk up to it, the hell grab it up. <laughs> this is Throw in the book. Day in, day out. <laughs> it's important to have instincts. I have a feeling something's in there. You know, I have my own practice, <laughs> I mean, all these years, what but the it's hell? really <laughs> crucial. It's so embarrassing. I to know watch. there's something here. I feel them, you know, I, I, I can sort of hear them calling me out. <laughs> <laughs> I like this car. The boot is spacious, uh, you know. We put them up the third floor. We make soap out of them. You know, like how the Nazis do. I love my job. Oh shit! <laughs> when, when I just saw that, uh, I got a shock. First, I see who is this guy. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> <In the beginning. laughs> wow, this was this was like 11 years ago eh? yeah 10 11 years ago yes. honestly yeah, but i was looking for the video I, and i searched for <laughs> audi uh a commercial and it came out <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck is this okay okay that time uh i met a friend and uh, he's a uh, he's a very talented uh, 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 film director. So there was this time when you know why he just sort of lap up at my office, and uh, I think we finished work that day, and uh, and 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 it was I was like, yeah, I just got this test car. Uh, uh, what do we do? Then he was like, uh, uh, we'll, we'll think of something. Then uh, he was like, okay, Bobby, imagine this. This is the place where we collect all the road kills. Then uh, I was like, what, what, what are we shooting? <laughs> I just follow. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, that girl was my, uh, she, her name is Bella. She was one yeah. of my, my, uh, my first uh, colleagues that, that joined uh, Wheels Weekly that time. Oh, and uh, okay. yeah, it was fun times. We, was, we, we were doing the magazine at the time. So... Yeah. So it was yeah. it was a silly yeah. thing uh, that we did. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> we were lucky that uh, Audi didn't 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 like. It's like, <laughs> did you just <laughs> mention <laughs> Nazi with the German cars? You know how sensitive they are with this whole thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. There is That's quite a, quite a funny comment here about that mm. next to you. You know, by John Calvin Koo. See what he say. Uh. What's that? What's that? <laughs> so what the heck is he doing? It? <laughs> hey, that that girl, uh, I I really have to have to mention mention it. She was because she studied graphic design, and she was my graphic designer. Yep. And uh, she designed a lot of uh, beautiful covers for our magazine back then. Of course, with my my crazy inputs, uh, and the funny thing is, one day she she just like because you know like, when you publish when you run a magazine publishing house mm. right, it's very mm. common to work into the night two a.m. three a.m. sometimes mm. four a.m. And uh, one day she just stood up and said, "Bobby, um, this is not the life I want. I want to quit." I was like, "Oh, so what? What? What do you want to, you know, do?" She was like, "I don't know." I this is not this is not how I imagine adult life is you know, she just graduated, and yeah. uh, and then and then I she, she went then she went straight into banking, 
without any knowledge, any background. She went into banking. She worked hard. And uh, then she went into uh, property or something like that. Now she's uh, very successful. She run her own business, very successful. You know, yeah, she's, yeah living the life she want. You know, she's, she's yeah, pretty yeah. amazing. Pretty amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so go and chase your dreams, huh? Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So everybody out there, I want to tell you like uh, Bobby has a lot of videos, uh, old videos that are really golden. Like, and, I, and once in a while, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm one of the fanboy of Bobby, like, you know? so I go yes, and see yes. old videos and uh, you'd be surprised. And, and this video, can you believe it's only like, two, like two, 2,000 views, you know, like this is gold. This is so fantastic <laughs> yes. in 2021, yes. and, and you know, so guys go and watch it. Uh, the link is on that uh, chat oh, box. I think, it's, I think it's go and comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, for it's, me. It's... <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Comment, right? Who's still watching this in 2021? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Uh, okay, so so we're gonna go back to that uh, slide we had before. Uh, yeah. Next one is the grocery run cars category. You know, so we've got the uh, Mazda two sedan two twenty twelve and two thirteen. Uh, Volkswagen Polo. So again, both same year cars, both are 20k today. So yeah, it's interesting because you got two different price points, two different uh, same same uh, value, uh, mm -hmm. and I guess different powers. Uh, on the uh, Mazda, I'll read here. Mazda is running at about 103 horsepower, at about yeah. uh, one uh, one ton, and then the yeah. Polo is uh, 105 horsepower. Yeah, they're about, but it's much heavier. It's 1.2. Ton, you know, and uh, obviously yeah. the power weight ratio, the Mazda is faster. What do you reckon about these two cars? Okay, I, I, I would take the Polo over the Mazda too, la. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I this Mazda two sedan is again it looks horrible. Even though both cars, I mean, I don't know actually. What, what what am I supposed to pursue here? Horsepower or I don't I don't know. Because I, I, I guess I guess the thing is like a, a, a typical guy will go out there yeah. and go to the match and like oh more power to weight ratio. You know power to weight ratio is seventy three watts per, per per kilogram on the Mazda yeah. two. You see there and then yeah. six on the on the on the Polo and then they say like oh Mazda is a both are like kind of a driver's car. Both are kind of exciting. Both the same pricing. Both the same year. Both can get loan. You know so like because very, because if you if you buy the Polo. At least you get to sit in a car that, let's say you are going Penang, hmm. right? You're on the highway doing 130, 140. It has that, that, that European car, that, that hmm. kind of German heft on the highway. You, know? you get yeah. something out of it. Hmm. Whereas this generation Mazda, this Mazda 2, right? I might as well just get a Kalisa. It's going to be the same experience. Wow. Maybe the Kalisa... Right, it, it has the same. It's it's the kind of generation, that kind of shitty plastic, correct, correct, correct. shitty mm. interior, shitty soundproofing. Open the door, close the door. It's all shit, you know. Mm. You might as well just get a local, <laughs> local Perodua, and, and and it it gives yeah. you the same thing. Yeah, to me lah, at least yes. uh, Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Polo is uh, really good for his, for the money lah. Yeah, oh. if you want. Yeah, uh, a European hatch, a European hatch or a European sedan. Yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 I, go wrong, and, and I think that, that, that's where the, the point being is that I think uh, a lot of people call up and say, "Oh, what, what car should I get?" And a lot of times the the VWs and the and the BMs, there's a lot of under undervalued cars to the sale. You know, like, mm, uh, yeah. like, 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 like mm. you're talking about the F30, you're talking about um, even the older ones. You know, um, they are they are really good bargains uh, for yeah. the price point you get because it's a German car. It goes on the highway very well. Even the old E46, you do highway at 140, 160, it's going to be flat. It's all it broke. Right. Even even the Camry that you showed me just now, right? Cannot Ooh, even yeah. cannot do one sixty stably on the highway. You know, yes, the car will be. Yeah. Uh, Agree. <laughs> Agree. It was still you'll the be, generation you'll be, where... you'll be boating all over the highway. Yes, yes. And, remember... and our our family uh, sold that Camry for the crown. The crown that that, that I I bought the mm. crown for my family, mm. right? Uh, the crown replaces that Camry. So that Camry was two point four four cylinder. And the crown is 2.5 six cylinder. Yeah. Right. Uh the Camry, every time we drive 
I fetch my grandpa or grandma to Singapore, right? We must refill uh, at Tuas. Is it called Tuas? Uh? Is mm. it called Tuas, the, the Tuas, second Tuas. link to Singapore? Tuas, right? Uh, we uh, must yeah, refill yeah. because our, 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 yeah. Yeah, our fuel tank will be, will be almost dry by then. Whereas the Crown, right? We can reach Singapore and drive around in Singapore and come back, then only we refill. Mm. Yeah, it's so more way fuel more efficient. Fuel efficient. Oh, way more fuel efficient because the Camry yes. is four speed and then the crown is six speed. Yes. Like okay, I'll, th I'll, th I'll take the seven series over the Camry yeah, now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> I, mean, I, I remember I remember in uh, 2014, I uh, what, uh, 2017, I was looking at the cars and I actually just drove the brand new Camry and then I just drove the uh, Audi and uh, used Audi and all that and I was like, the Camry is crap, lah. I mean, even back then, for me, I was like, mm. I wasn't happy with the price I'm paying for. Like, wow, you pay so much, you get this, uh, not satisfied enough. Uh, yeah. uh, German yeah. cars, whatever the day they used to yeah. have, lah. Actually, the best Camry was actually the first generation that came to Malaysia. Oh. You know, then after that, I think it went south. Yeah. Uh, the south. nineteen, the nineteen ninety four Camry, right? Yes, yes, yes. The one, the one the also front. on dashboard issue. But that's what yeah. issue was all because I drove yeah. two of those, you know, and each one because I'm doing sales are uh, two hundred fifty thousand kilometers each. Ah, know, those cars. Uh, the know, one with the tail they... lamp, one bar one, right? No, not not, not the one bar one. The the one before that, the one bar one was after that already. Both also one bar. One is slimmer. One is broader. The one is the broader one, I think. The one. Ah, has... ah, ah. Ah, the ah, one the ah, headlamp that almost looked like the R thirty four headlamp one, ma. Yep, yeah. Yeah, look, <laughs> look, yes, 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 Skyline yes. R thirty four headlamp, almost like correct, that. correct. And yeah. actually, highway, yeah, the Padana is better. Oh, than any of the Camrys, yeah, it yeah. drives a lot better. Yeah, highway. my family, my family had had that Camry as well. The, mm. the first gen nineteen ninety four Camry. Yes, yes. Yeah, correct. my family ah. had that, yes. and then you know, like typical Chinese family, uh, is Camry. Oh, this one Camry. Uh, next one Accord lor. After Accord uh, next one Camry lor. Yes, yes. Don't need to look at the car. Right? Just don't, don't mm. have to look at the car. Right? Just just change interchange between between both. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah two point two <laughs> GX uh, That one they call it. Two point two GX. Yeah. Got picture. Got picture. Got got got, got. coming up. I think boy is sharing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This one. Yeah. Yeah. I drove half yeah. a million kilometers on this first. Very wow. nice car. Very very mm. nice. Very car. nice and then solid. Right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Because I think what happened, this was the car that was based on the ES Lexus. Ah, uh, uh, it was based on the D, uh, Lexus ES. You know, they were based on that, so it had mm. all the engineering from there. Uh, that's why. Yeah, very <laughs> nice. At, at those areas, the Lexus and the Camry. What was the difference? I mean, I, I hear something about the what uh, the mounting internet. It's about there's something about uh, the mounting is different and. Some yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, because if you look at it, I think in Japan they call it the ES three hundred or something. Uh, mm. yeah. uh, actually, it's very similar to the Camry. That's why yeah. the car is very refined. Nineteen ninety four Lexus mm. hasn't launched in Japan yet. Yeah, but I think they call it Toyota. Yeah, uh, yeah. Toyota. I don't know what's that name. I uh, remember yeah. last time I know that name. Now I don't know already. Mm, don't know. They all have a name for for for. They don't call it Lexus in uh, Japan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they don't call it Lexus. It's something else. Uh. You know, maybe one of our viewers can tell us. <laughs> yeah, like the like the GS is called the Aristo, right? Yep, the correct. LS called the Celsio. Yes. And yes. Uh, Lagnum, mm. you know, oh no, like yeah. Lagnum is 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 is, is, is it the, the name. Toyota Windham? Is it? Yes, 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 yes. Ah, Windham, 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 correct, Windham, correct, campaign correct. Campaign correct. Yes, Toyota Windham. <laughs> Windham, Windham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Windham. Absolutely right. Well, Puven, yes, ah. yes. Puven, Puven. Yes, yes. He's a Lexus all... guy. Yeah. Lexus guy. Yeah. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Correct, correct. Yeah, it's called a Windham, Windham. Yeah. 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 Oh, hey, why don't we, we answer some of the comments here? You know, sure, we, sure. Have, we have been talking many, you know, we didn't yeah. answer so <laughs> more more of them are just comments. Um, so I think I'll saying uh, awesomely comfortable uh coin to con. Yes, the comfortable cars from that. James Wong yeah. says Polo has the most unreliable transmission, shitty, dry, <laughs> dry, 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 <laughs> not dry, dry, dry clutch. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you will run your pocket but, dry, uh, you go dry clutch. But now actually a lot of people can fix them already. Uh. It's no longer an issue. Yeah, I, I think I think that uh, yeah, what, what what do you think about the fact that when these cars came out, the technology was new and you must go back to VW to service them. Now after all these years, yeah. Um I mean fixing an MK5 is not, not a big issue. MK5 can easily can each other can go to any workshop, they can repair it. Yeah. It's easy to use, isn't it? So is it mm. an issue with I guess the that point in time, the what's available as mechanics and technologies and repairs and service versus uh, going back to most of the I know. Yes, mm. you don't have to. Uh. In fact, a lot of guys that do gearbox uh, can fix all the uh, mechatronic and your dry clutch already. Yeah, the the, 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 the more the more we now we see now like the reliability yeah. of will be not so bad like, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, not yeah. as troublesome. In fact, the, the engine is brilliant. I've seen cars doing 250, 300,000 kilometers just change the timing chain and then it's fine. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I drove yeah. I drove uh, Mark's, uh, Mike's uh, MK5 the other day and I was in his car's fantastic condition. Uh, uh, Bobby, it's like really mint condition. I'd be like, like, wow, so nice. Like, no, because normally it's a, bit, a, a bit, a bit <laughs> run down, but this car has like, very low mileage, beautiful mm. interior, very clean, you know. Wow, so nice. Lah. Maybe you want to buy an MK5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it gives you a bit of that engagement, lah, which the new cars are missing. Lah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I, for one, am, am not too scared of all this dual clutch thingy, you know, because mm. I mean, just get it fixed. So, right, you as, as compared to as compared to uh, the, the Nissan X trails and all that, those are. Those yeah. are premature wear, wear and, and the thing just mm. wear until it die prematurely yes. compared to... Because that time, right, uh, nobody really understand. No, it's not that nobody really understand. Uh, uh, the whole mechatronic saying is so easy to, to, to just blurt out, right? There are yeah. so many mechanics that jump on this and made a fortune out of it. Mm, so yeah. many. You got small issues. Oh, mechatronic lah, bro. Mechatronic lah, bro. Mm. 15,000. Get it sorted lah, bro. Yeah. Fuck lah. Mm. Right? I go and fix the... Yes. I, go and, I go to another workshop. Uh, check. Printer circuit. 600 ringgit. Done. Mm. Mm. Right? Then yeah, another time, enough. another mechanic told me, oh, oh this one lah. Mechatronic lah. You know? And then... And then and another friend of mine, hey, no lah, I just refresh the software for you. Done. And some yeah. of them will just flush your gearbox, it's fine. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, it's so mm. many, so many pute pute on, really. Mm. Mm. I mean, the, mm. the, the, same, the same thing, but uh, Mike, like uh, with the hybrid X, uh, um, like till today, uh, people say, oh, no, the, 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 the battery fails, yeah. uh, okay? I've mm. yet to find the owner which has got the hybrid battery changed. I'm calling out, please come and talk to me. I'm still finding the guy who changed the battery for the hybrid. Oh. I haven't found anyone it's yet. True. I haven't I haven't heard of it, no, actually. The hybrid yeah. people changing battery. The yeah, I, I'm I'm yeah. still finding the guy. I haven't found the guy mm. yet. I still on the because the cars problem, mm. the, the cast problem, the A6 one is not the hybrid battery dying yeah. prematurely, right? It's the, mm. it's the it's the Compressor. usual hybrid car hybrid thingy where right. like like the time when this car came out, right? Eight of my friends, mm. they mm. they they eight of them together mm. drop booking and buy together, you know. Eight of them. Well, and then uh, two, two experienced highway driving shutdowns. So they were <laughs> like driving on the highway with their family and the car just mm. went just went break yeah. and he has to pull the steering wheel to the side of the road scare the shit out of him sold it the next day mm. so so and then the funny thing is out of eight of them like four or five of them bought the x5 hybrid <laughs> <laughs> and two of them also experienced highway driving shutdown <laughs> 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 So, so whenever this yep. happens, right, all of them sell together. Yeah. Mm. So I think Mike. it's about hybrid drive train that time, right? Um, mm -hmm. These cars were not designed to be hybrids. Yep. They were re retrofitted yeah. later on with mm. third party supplied components. Mm -hmm. And the third parties that supply them, when there are issues, 
they question the third party. The third party say, hey, everything according to paper, what, what you required, what I did. There you go. And then uh, the manufacturer themselves cannot say, show me all the source code. And they are like, hey, that's my IP. Eh. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so that was the issue that time, I believe, uh, third, with mm. third-party <clears throat> suppliers. It was a new thing. And then, you know, as mm. German car makers, they always introduce it immediately. Yeah. And uh, you, you you are merely having a higher rate of uh, uh, how do I put, put this uh, out of one hundred unit, you know mm. how many has potential issues? I think that was that was then. Uh, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, but but I must say as a hybrid user, Bobby, uh, mm. you got anxiety, you know, because there a lot of mm. stuff happens, and you're like, what the hell is this, man? Why is this? Why is that? You know, and then like yeah. reset. So so there is a little more of. Anxiety, definitely more anxiety driving a hybrid than normal cars, but it's a risk and reward thing. Like you want that kind of drive. And yes, yes. Like really the first it. gen, uh, the first batch of XC90s, right? Uh, is is Volvo's first time. They designed everything in house, so it was designed mm. from the ground up as a as a hybrid vehicle, and uh, they have so many cables. You know the the cables that that run yeah. in the car, right? Yeah. Uh, apparently there were interference. There mm. were there were uh, I don't know you call it what what electromagnetic interference, mm. uh, interference between the sig- mm. yeah between the signals mm. and uh, that's that's what happened no? uh, one morning one fine morning you drive 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 suddenly the turtle comes out <laughs> you know uh, Volvo, yes Volvo, uh, 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 a warning light uh, the a warning light that that is in the mm. in the logo of a turtle will come out yeah. and mm. when the turtle comes out uh, you have less power you have you know, they ask you to go to the service center or something. So when the car detects some some powertrain pairing shit going on, and then it will just decided to go into safe mode and not let you push the power, and then the turtle will come out. It scares the shit out of people. Lah. And then there are yeah. also cars whereby halfway driving, the whole speedo cluster just went blank. Like it's a black screen, you know. Yeah. Mm. But mechanically speaking, the, the Volvo Spa platforms, right, they have been mm. flawless. At yeah. first, as journalists, right, we were so we were very worried every time when a car maker embark on an all new platform, all new engine, all new transmission, all new ideology. We will always be worried when wow, this car maker doing everything new all at once. Ah, die, yeah. die, die. You know, we will be so afraid, just like Volkswagen suddenly twin charge, twin clutch, all this mm-hmm. thing, right? Then, then yeah. blew up, right? So we were so worried. Volvo going. Uh, a, a, a plug-in hybrid that is turbocharged and supercharged, you know, at the same time. But mechanically, it's been seven years now since the Spa platform. Mm. There were no turbo meltdown issue, no transmission failure, no engine failure, no engine oil consumption problem. None of all this. It's all just uh, electronics. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I think encounter- like. Um, Sorry, Bobby. Did you encounter any uh, breakdown before or not? Because you, I did not. I am very car, lucky. Not, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, super, good. super mm. duper lucky. Uh, I had the the V ninety T six for like four or five months until mm. the 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 media yeah, unit XC ninety can be sold mm. sold to me. Yeah. So mm. Bobo let me drive the car over the the whole Christmas holiday of two thousand seventeen until mm. Chinese New Year, January, February until I can collect the, the, the media test drive unit, the XC90. So mm. when I collected the car, the car was like 20 over 1,000 km mileage. And uh, it, was, it was brilliant. It's just that the first XC90 I had doesn't have 360 camera. And uh, it has a very small fuel tank. So it annoyed the hell out of me because every week I need to refill. Every week I need to refill. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, then a, a Penang dealer made me a good offer to, to took in my car. And then uh, sell me the the <clears throat> the, the newer XC90 with a larger fuel tank, bigger battery, and all that. So I was happy yeah. to do it, and uh, I'm quite lucky. Both of my XC90 is like flawless. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen reports that the um, like five percent, four percent cases in overseas. They've got some issues with some, I think, some um, inverters and controllers and stuff. But I think all under warranty, like no. Mm, um, mm, mm. So it's mm. not, not too bad. So I, I think Volvo is doing a good job 
uh, trying to manage that aspect and not going yeah. to all fully fully electric uh, whole thing different uh, i guess hey there are weird yeah. issues also the gps uh, you know the shark fin gps antenna mm. Mm. there mm. were issues with uh, those antennas that were not sealed properly mm. and people buy the car new and then rain 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 second week the whole roof liner all wet Huh? You know, in the yes, 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 there were there were these issues going on uh, in the local assembly. There were certain batches that had this issue. Mm. Then, uh, Bobby, went back. The, yeah, that's the question, Bobby. Sorry, yeah, uh, yes. Brian Williams. Any comment on the comparison between European turbo versus Japanese turbo with horsepower over reliability? How to answer? <laughs> Actually, they they buy from the same suppliers, right? There's no such yeah. thing yeah. as European Correct. turbo or Japanese turbo. Yes, there are no such thing. Yes. But, yeah. but I guess there is how the that, turbo, that power, few manufacturer. Yeah. Sorry, you sorry. You got your IHI and your board and Warner. Yeah, Basically, yeah. these two people. That's all. Yeah. I, I guess what I'm saying is that the in the engine and hmm. and turbos about the same, but how they deliver the power and what RPM, how it comes through, how the sound resonates, that's different, I guess, isn't it? It's it's just the, the feel of the car. Uh I don't know how to put this or but but I can I say that they have now converged on the same ideology, mm. both sides. Mm. Right? Uh the yes. Japanese were 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 on the turbo game in the in the eighties and nineties heavily. Mm. Right. And uh, yep. uh that time is for the pursuit of horsepower. Right. And then in the in the early two thousands, the Europeans went on to the turbo route mainly to to get a lower fuel if uh, fuel emission uh, rating, yeah, emission yeah. ratings, uh. mm -hmm. yeah, and then and then now I think I think they are more or less on the same kind of path. You see, the Japanese were pretty reluctant in in going turbocharging, right? Because the Japanese they are in a way they they look at usage, they look at like actual yeah. real world usage. That right. in the actual real world, your 1.2 TFSI engine is not as fuel efficient as my Mazda 2 liter. So what are you talking about? Mm. Turbocharging, mm. right? Mm. And uh, in real world usage. So Japanese has always been using that method because Japanese has their own uh, emissions test cycle and all that. Whereas the Europeans, they have their NEDC cycle and all that, right? And the mm. European market is a market where Japanese cars did not make a huge impact. Uh, if you go into Europe, it's, it's, it's the only one market in the world where people don't buy Japanese cars. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't, That's true. you know? Mm. And uh, so Japanese have very little emphasis or focus on the European test cycle. The only silly one is Malaysia. We Everything we buy Japanese, but we go and follow the European NEDC cycle. Everything follow European yeah. standard, you know? But but our market, but of course the European car market in Malaysia is really like growing like crazy la. I mean over the past few years, right? People yes. are more accepting of European cars, mm. so I, I I don't see there's a huge difference. Um, yeah, day by day it's coming closer, I guess. Day by day, the the, the power and the feel is getting it's getting there la. Yeah. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. 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 Let's uh, let's get to okay. some of the uh, so, questions. So we here. got. We got yeah. James Wong here. James Wong is a Singaporean, mm. but I want to buy a Golf GTI half cut to put into my Passat B7, my 55 years old retirement gift from Singapore CPF. Singaporean, a lot of money when I buy half cut. Uh. <laughs> Wait, he's, James, you're yeah. Singaporean, and then you want to why you want to keep your yeah. he's working, he's working in, in, in Malaysia, especially my friend, like he's working in Malaysia, uh, but, uh, but he's, he's, he's pretty much in Malaysia, I right know, and uh, uh. Yeah. so he's got a car in Malaysia, his Passat B7, which I'm not happy about. So I want to buy a half cut, put in there, and <laughs> why? Passat why do you B7. want to go and do that? Go and buy a B eight Passat ah? Well, yeah, because yeah, the why? Passat is still value like yeah. crap. Uh. Correct. The money that you yeah. spend on 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 that. Yeah, the half cut might be maybe what twelve thousand ringgit or something uh. ah. Yeah. Yeah. But then by the time you put everything in, it will be twenty something. No, James, I have an yeah. idea. You keep you keep your Passat. The money yeah. you are ready to spend on doing this whole nonsense, right? You go and buy an Audi S4. <laughs> you will have the kind of horsepower that your Golf GTI cannot make. 
And you gotta visit Mike. Yeah, you gotta stage two the car, you get 500 horsepower out of it. It's like, it's like, why bother? Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. If you spend another 15,000 ringgit on uh, S4, you can get 460 horsepower. Why ah. you want to go and do that? All right. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Br- Brendan Lim here. Idea. Owned and, dro- and, hmm. and drove an E60 M5 without any engine and SMG issue until I sold at 160,000 kilometers. So I don't know why people keep harping about on this before experiencing one. Well, nice. Said, nice. Con. 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 This, this is the M5 why? to get. A V10 M5. <laughs> yes. V10 M5 is nicer than V8 yes. M5. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, you know, you know yeah. Con, uh, bro, bro, Con, yeah. right? Mm. He's mm. so fixated with the E39 M5, right? Mm-hmm. I start to believe, right? It is a, it is a dream. Uh, it is, it is pursuing an impossible dream so that you don't need to pursue it. <laughs> wow, Con! If I was you, Con, I would say, like, uh, screw you, Bobby. Tomorrow, I nearly burned out by my water just now. <laughs> Because it's the kind of car that you cannot find. And even if you found, nobody will let go of the car. So yeah. it, is an, it is an unobtainable dream so mm. that you don't have to pursue it. It's, it's, it's cheating. It's cheating. Challenge. Yeah. Challenge, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got another Singaporean here. Uh, Iskandar Zamorin from Singapore. I still own the MK5 Twin Charge Jetta in Singapore. Still a gem. Runs well. The mechatronic issue was rectified recently by a callback from BW Singapore. Wow, they called back the M- the uh, MK5 yeah, data. Recent, so nice. Wow. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Yeah. Oh, so, guys, for, hmm. for anyone, sorry, a uh, quick one, uh, Tana. Hmm. For anyone who bought, uh, like, like let's say, a Mercedes or BMW or Audi, right, do hmm. know that your car is internationally warranted for three years. Oh. oh so okay. if, you, if you have a recall in Malaysia that the Malaysia dealer did not recall, yeah. If you go to Singapore, you can actually go to their dealer and ask them to check whether this car, this VIN number is under the recall, global recall thing or not. If it is, right, they can do it for you for free. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes. 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 True, yes because true. they claim from Germany. Yeah. Is there expiry, Bobby, for the recall period? Uh, I have no idea. I have no I idea. I think so. Even my yeah. BMW, right? My 335. Mm. There is mm. a recall for the uh, positive terminal cable, mm. and also I think got one more for the uh, aircon cable. Yeah, so yeah. I just have to go to BMW. They will they will uh, do the recall free. What I mean is a lot of these things, right? Is really yeah. just whether the person behind the counter is willing to take the extra effort to yeah. take down your detail. And there's no official process or SOP to it, but it's whether that person is willing to do it for you or not only. I'm, mm. I'm a bit sad by, I mean, I'm not blaming any uh, car man for this one. The recall policy in Malaysia is quite bad, Bobby. I mean, like I mean, I, like my own cars that I bought, uh, the, at the Everest, there's a recall on the car because the, I think the, the, the roof itself, that, that welding, they mean yeah. reinforce, but they never <clears> recall <throat> Malaysia. So sad, isn't it? Because no one carries weight on the cars in Malaysia. No roof rack. So no issue, one, no, no recall, you know? But... Uh, yeah, it's a thing, you know. And uh, so many politicians are board of directors of all these big companies. So, hmm. mm. it is what it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay I mean, I mean, mm. We cannot expect that we 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 can we, we cannot be expecting things from countries that everything run by the book when we are in a country that is enjoying the fact that there are things that are not run by the book. So take it or leave it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You, you want to drive 160 km on the highway or not? Ah, uh, you want then? Then we, we these things we just ah uh, we settle it ourselves lah. No need to okay. bank table lah, consumer right lah, and all that. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we're gonna go back to our segment here on SUVs yeah. now. So yeah. here we got a 2012 uh, VW Tiguan and a 2013 Subaru XV. Um, so just on horsepower, I mean to do weight, uh, it's 93 watt per kilo on the. Big one, 78 watt per kilo on the Subaru. So Bobby's a Subaru fan, I know. Uh, but I'll take the Tigo. <laughs> <laughs> so would I. Yeah. <laughs> so would I actually. No, again, yeah. bro, I'm 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 only 
I'm, I'm, I only have okay. I, I only like one brand, which is Alfa Romeo. Mm. Mm. The others is just whether at a certain point of time they have made a car that fulfills all my needs mm. or not. Which right. Alfa Romeo has never made a car that fulfills all my needs. <laughs> <laughs> also like also like an unobtainium goal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's like at the moment, you know, yeah. Alfa never yeah. had a car that that I can like. Wow, they are doing everything right. You know, I want to buy this. There's none. Sad. Yeah. Sad, sad, sad. And you know, Bobby, you, earlier you were saying about the engagement and the car that tinkles you and all that, right? You know, for me, yeah. the Alpha still does it. Uh, for some reason or another. The you know, older the ones. Drive, yeah, but even the new ones, some of the new ones are quite nice. You know, like the 159, you know, the oh. other day. Oh, under I tested one. They got that car manual as well, right? Wow. Ooh. I was. I was surprised on the low end talk, you know, of the JTS engine. Yes. Yeah, yes, I was surprised. Is good. Oh. It's the, the handling, the, the handling. Yes. My God, the front yes. end of the car just darts away. Very, very nice. You know? Amazing. And, uh, I apologize to my customer again. I think I scared him a few times because the car was so nice to drive. <laughs> So and damn yeah. nice to drive, right? That car is yes, so yes. surprise nice me. It's so underrated, uh. I do not mm. know why the journalists all really, you know, BS, uh. Yeah. They test the no, car. because they say much about it. If oh. you approach that car as uh, if you approach the Celeste Speed transmission as an automatic transmission, then it is a bad automatic transmission, mm. right? You should yeah. approach that car as a manual transmission with someone helping you with the clutch. That's it, uh. Right. Mm. Uh, you see, but James. The one I James drove was manual, uh. yeah. mm. See, James is complaining yeah. again uh, because <laughs> it is a, you know, the the way to drive the Celeste Speed right is that you go up the car and then you just put it into manual mode. You change the yes. gear yourself. Yes. Uh, you don't wait for it to change gear for you. If you mm. wait for it to change gear for you, right? Then then yeah, it shifts like a shit lah. So what, you have to drive about, it like that. You know? What about let's say like yeah, the press, the, let go and press. You would that help? It's like uh, you, press, you press and then you let go and you press again. No, the, the, like the, the, thing, the thing is this. The, remember, okay, let's say someone driving a manual, right? You go into mm. first gear. <clears throat> and then when you want to shift second gear, right? You shift your car like how the old uncle taxi driver does. You know, yeah. press the clutch and then, hmm, then go back to, to second gear. And then only, then jerk you. <clears throat> yeah, the car <laughs> shifts like that. The 159 shifts like that when you drive, yeah. you know. So, yeah, yeah concept just, release the throttle. And, yep. and when you're driving hard, right, the only thing that they need to do is that, let's say you are driving hard, the car should actually blink a light telling you it's about to shift. Then you lift mm. your throttle for it to shift. Then you step back. But you mm. do not know when. You can only guess when it shifts, right? It feels like a L license plate guy who shift gear without lifting the throttle, you know? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, that's but the after thing. a while, right, you can get used to it with the AMT transmission. Actually, that's like an AMT transmission. If you it, call it, it, it is exactly. <laughs> yeah, it is exactly an AMT <laughs> transmission. But now I've driven so many cars, I yeah. appreciate different types of transmission. You know, I yes. appreciate it. They behave right. differently. Yeah. Yes, uh, Joseph, yes, yes it's, it's like an SMG, SMG yes. or AMT. You know, yes. these are all the automated. Uh, single clutch or Aventado for that matter. Correct. Or, uh, Aston, Aston Vantage. Yeah, yeah. Single clutch yes. transmission. Very nice. Yes. Very nice, very nice. And mm. of all the SMGs, yeah, mm. the most brutal one is the CSL. You know, I, I didn't drive the car. I rode on it. Oh. You know, and oh, on the aggressive sports mode uh, and mm. the fastest transmission mode. Uh, I was so worried of the rear, you mm. know, the rear axle falling off the car. Right? <laughs> it was bolting us. And it's brutal, right? Changer. Brutal, man. You know, yeah. unless you think the Alcantara seat, you know, really tight down on the seat and the car just go, oh, <laughs> Yes, yes. Like, Aventador wow. as well. Yeah. And the first generation uh, Audi R8 V10s. Oh, mm. you... Oh, and then when it shoot, oh, oh, It feels like the... <laughs> The, your Ricardo seat, right? like someone take the Ricardo seat and <laughs> hit you from the back. Right? Damn nice. Yeah. Oh, LFA came with AMT also. Yeah. AMT yeah. is very yes. engaging to drive when you're driving fast manually. Yeah. 
mm. super engaging. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, destroyed by inappropriate driving. As opposed to yep. uh, the moment when I fell out of love for dual clutch is when I drive my friend's GD3 RS. You know, mm. that gearbox is so good that I, I was driving 160 on a curving band. And then I try and play with the transmission. It's just, it's just different sounds. Yes, the car didn't even shift a little oh bit, you know. God. It feels, yeah. it is so smooth. It's like video so game. Mm. Yeah, it's 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 one is like, what, what the hell? I mean, there's nothing, like, no feel. <laughs> So like my Aston, like, oh, 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 you know, it, it doesn't do that. <laughs> it doesn't do that at all, you know. So right, yes, right. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One more, one question for you, uh, Bobby. Mm. And your turbo. Yeah. And sorry, A sorry. Turbo. And A or turbo. Uh, normally aspirated engine or turbo. What's that? Uh, <laughs> Uh, if if everyday car then turbo law. If uh, we if really for cars that are for excitement then NA is is because not all NAs are done the same, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, the, not all NAs are done the same. Um, but but if you're asking me performance car, definitely NA, definitely. NA. Yes, yes, yes. I do agree with you on that. You know, the, oh, feeling, yo, the feeling of the NA engine, uh, yeah, when yeah. it pulls the RPM, uh, you can yes. see the RPM goes up uh, and the way it pulls, uh, it's so different from a uh, you, you, very you get, artificial. You get to enjoy uh, the, the climbing of speed more. Yes, yes. Uh, where like 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 my, my, my RS6 and my, my S10 both are rated yep. 560, 560 horsepower. The, yes. the Aston can, oh, you know, it's so yes. nice. The, the way yeah. it climbs, yeah. whereas my and Audi then, is just, yeah. like, damn scary. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, you've got your V12 as well. Like. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yellow, yellow. And, and, and A, especially when they are around like 4,000 yeah. plus yes. RPM, and yes. your throttle feels so tight. Right, yes. You, yes. you you remain at that gear, right? And then yes. you, the slightest movement of your throttle, the, even the most minute, you just you just wriggle your toe a bit. You can see the the, the RPM move. Wow, oh, the feeling is just yes. so nice. Uh. Yeah. Correct, is, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We got a comment from James Wong, which made me want to Google up this car. Fiat Stilo. Stilo. Fiat Stilo. About. Yeah, I like the way this car looks. You know. Yeah, it it's looks like really. A, the weight shape. I, I don't know how to put it. It, it, it is, it's actually a kind of car like the Hyundai Matrix, but it's designed so well. Hmm. Uh, it's a it's higher right height, you know, has a chop tail. It's, it's, it's a good looking car. Yes, yes. Here we mm, go. Mm, mm. Mm. Beautiful looking car. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's taller than the usual hatchback one. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but that's the two door version, uh, sportier two door version. Yeah. Mm. Wow. What you engine that this came with? Uh, let me see. Uh, Sorry. So what engine this came the with? The two point four or something like. It's a big engine. Uh. There's a two point four five cylinder engine. Mm. Weird and configuration. Mm. That that one that went on to the Fiat Coupe uh, without the turbos, I think. Fiat Coupe is five cylinder, man. Yeah. Yeah, twenty valve. Eh? Mm. Oh, yeah, we got two versions. One was uh, 16 valve, one was 20 valve. And the, la and the last version, last version yeah. came with the turbo. Yeah. Oh, it's a turbo five two. cylinder 2.2. Two, yes. uh. Yeah, the oh. yeah, the Fiat Coupe. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, because it came out the time when I, I had my, my 1997 Audi A4 1.8, right? So mm. I to me, 20 valve was so special. My Audi A4 1.8 also 20 valve. Yeah, five cylinder. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no, five, five valve, valve per cylinder. Yeah, five yeah. valve per cylinder. Where sorry. Audi that time keeps saying the only other car with a five valve per cylinder is a Ferrari 355. So, yeah, uh, right. During that time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That time was uh, the Volkswagen Audi's uh, first turbocharged engine. Uh. 
possible. They they were so yeah. early in uh, downsizing yes. their cars. Yeah, yeah, that's when tuning started. Uh. Yeah. Ah, the tuning ah. scene. Ah, the tuning oh, scene. Oh, uh, that car is a ah. favorite in ah. the tuning scene with the one point. Yes, turbo. yes, yes. Because yeah. it used to cut out all the BMWs with their six cylinders back then. Uh. With their two point eight, right? One, ah, I got one point eight only. You know, but ah, faster than they you. Cut out the two point eight. <laughs> Yes. So when 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 all the German car makers started to downsize their engine, right? Audi is the yeah. only one that doesn't need to lie. Audi is like one point yeah. eight, two liter. Right. Whereas BMW, yeah. Mercedes, all oh, oh, three hundred <laughs> la, uh, four hundred la, two fifty. All this nonsense. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Audi, yes. Audi, Audi you got downsized very early. You got a question from Justin Liu. Do you guys think the new BMW M cars have too much power and are less emotional? Uh, I haven't driven the latest, latest M car, so I wouldn't be able to say. Anything. But I guess the question is, what is emotion? <laughs> I think emotion yes. are different, different points yeah. of, uh, of 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 year of of genre. Uh, generation mm. is different. I mean, like, today it's all about turbo. You want a quick power acceleration because computing. Back then, it's about sound. So I think each M cars holds ground in its own way. And mm -hmm. the, what is emotion to you? It's different emotion to someone else. And I think mm. and who are the buyers? Yep. And all that. I think that's, that's the whole idea, you know. Um, that's I think it's the it's the geographical shift of wealth that mm. creates a different perception and expectation. You see, uh, these cars, okay, Europeans, they are the they 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 are the 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 what they are the place where motorsport starts. It's the Europeans. Right. Mm. So and, and cars are invented in Europe. So European has a very, very strong, not just a very strong car culture, but also a very strong racing and motorsport culture. Yeah. So in the very early days, you 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 have there's no such thing as premium car makers or or lower end car makers. There are no such differences. You know, mm. they everybody just jump into the industry, you know. I'm Opel, I'm proud of Opel. I'm I am uh, Fiat, I'm proud of Fiat. I'm BMW, I'm proud of BMW. Uh, yeah. I am Fiat, I can make a luxury car. You are Mercedes-Benz, you can make a luxury car. There's no such thing as hierarchy. Yeah. And yeah. luxury car means luxury car, but they have always had a motorsport tradition. So the yes. Europeans don't see performance cars as a luxury thing. Yeah. But it's, it's when, yes, Europeans, it's like performance means performance. Right? Yes. Luxury means luxury. And yeah. it is when this whole thing come over to, to, to the Middle Eastern market, the Asian market and all that, right? Where yes. the, the luxury and sport amalgamated into one thing, mm. which is translated into dollars and cents. So mm. the consumers in Asia would expect if I pay 300000 performance and luxury must come together. Yeah. If I pay 500, it must be more. If I pay 800, it must be more. So mm. it is this, this, this merging of these two things, right? That force mm. car makers like, like M or RS and all that, they have to do it. If not, you won't yeah. buy it, right? Imagine BMW launch yeah. a, 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 an M car, right? With very little soundproofing, with, uh, you know, very Spartan seats, uncomfortable. Mm. You look at Mercedes did the A45, everybody scolded the car. Oh, the car is shit, la, blah, blah, blah. It's not comfortable, la, blah, blah, blah. But we forgot it's a performance car. Yes. Right? Correct. That's, that's the problem. That's the problem. People expect it. So that's why you see Audi RS was, or, 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 or AMG was, was like, hey, uh, yeah, we put big engine. Doesn't mean we're going racing, you know? It's just mm. that BMW M was was so marketed to be derived from motorsport that that they have always been communicating the the motorsports emotional winning races yes. check check flag shit you know but yep. now they are transitioning or they all three of them are doing the same shit right now yeah comfortable high speed and uh, and uh, I don't think BMW is racing anymore except their press release images see when's the last time BMW <laughs> went for a race they Correct. don't race. No I mean, more. yeah, they don't yeah. race. Even even, even Skoda race yeah. more. Even Hyundai race more than BMW. Yeah, you go and see BTCC and all that. No more. Ah, BMW yeah. don't race. Which racing series yes. they are in? None, none. 
Yeah. Right. Not even yeah. in Formula One anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Formula One is the highest. Uh, yep. You know, it's the scariest mm. thing to go in. Uh. Yeah. But BMW is not racing anymore. Mm. Yeah. 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 They say BMW has the least yeah. motorsport heritage. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. <laughs> uh. But and, that's uh, where they started, la, actually, in the 80s. Yeah. Yes. Uh, with the yes. 190E, uh, with the 190E, E30. Yeah. So sad, right? So sad that yeah. Yeah. DTM. DTM yeah. is now uh, a one make race. Yeah, they started yeah. with this. Yeah, yeah, man. Do you know that, Tana? Do you E30, know that? Yeah. The, the, E30. The, the, the Deutsch, the Deutsch Touren Masters, whatever, yeah. is actually a common platform, common engine, common gear block, gearbox with a, with a shell like Tamiya. Hmm? Mm. And you, you can design the shell to somewhat look like your road car. That's it. Oh, oh, so so those those one ninety E's were, no 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 no. Back then they were real. They were real. Uh, back then touring cars means production cars. Then you go to race, okay. right? You must have a homologation for 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 numbers. Homologation number okay. to qualify your car as a production car. That's okay. why they cheat with all this CSL thingy, mm -mm. Hey, it's a production mm. car. Then they only make like what, 40, 50 units, and then they go and race. They go and tap out people, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Then DTM now is uh, is 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 a Tamiya racing. It's Tamiya. Oh, it's basically yeah, a, yeah. the exact I mean, same uh, engine like gearbox NASCAR, and everything. Actually, uh, just like uh, not NASCAR. Uh, in in uh, the US, they call it. I think yeah, it's NASCAR, stock right? In the yeah, US, NASCAR, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, NASCAR. Stock, you know? stock car, yeah, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah stock car racing. Yes, the longer so. stock car racing right, is is a yeah. common platform, yeah, common NASCAR. engine, common transmission, yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which is, which is good, I guess, like I guess driver gets driver. But uh, you lost the the, the yeah. magic, the magic of uh, the loyal fans mm. supporting mm. your your loyal brand, and yeah. the excitement that you want because you know for a fact that they are just pretending to be Audi when they are not. Everybody yeah. take turns to make the engine. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, it's only yeah. the shell and I, actually the whole shell is stickered. Yes, yes, it's Tamiya. Uh, stickered. It's actually uh, Tamiya, yeah. Yes, yes. So, yeah. so coming la. back to that, yeah, coming back to that question again about the M4. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but we haven't driven the latest M4, la, you know, but I think the M4 for me, it's, it's uh, overpowering, la, you know. I mean, Especially after I mean, you tune it on the M4. I mean, I mean, this uh, is where... It's I mean, beyond my, me to drive it. I get sweaty palms driving the car, actually. I mean, yeah. I mean, you got a, you got a car that's yeah. so powerful, Mike. And yeah. you can't claim the car is meant for road, road use. <laughs> because there's so much power. It's like, it's like you are you're either driving very fast on the, on the road and it's dangerous. Or yeah. it is... Uh, you, you expect the people who bend the seat, bear the car to be responsible and drive in a sensible way. Mm -hmm. You drive when it's okay. La, don't push it all, all the time, la, you know? But I mean, uh, I, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, like Bobby was saying earlier, you know, that he go for his toge drive, he drive his RS6, you know, and another friend no, of mean, the M5, correct. you yeah. can catch a poke like that, right? But on the M4, uh, it's quite mm. scary, you know, because you got two wheel drive only, uh. oh, and yes, same amount of top, uh. yes. yes, you know, if just say you pull out and then you throttle full throttle, uh, scary, mm. right? <laughs> And I, yeah, and I guess 600, 700 where, newtons kicking from the back. <laughs> and I guess this is where cars like RF6, I think their the beauty is that they make it powerful, but it makes it mm. also controlled and you can, you know, it's that safe, like, you know, it's very safe car to yes. be that much power on the road, normal use. Super easy. easy to drive. It's so yeah. easy to drive. Yeah, yeah. 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 We got a question from uh, Ryubs, Ryubs, hopefully, uh, Young. Hi, Bobby, Tana, Mike. Z4 yeah. E89. NA inline six two point five not much tuning capable this right uh, this is for Mike. Oh okay the two point five actually is quite capable engine only thing if it, because I think that one runs on the N fifty two engine yeah. and uh, engine is quite lazy but if you do a stage two you decat it you know it become quite revvy and the car is quite fun to drive and the uh, engine is actually uh, easier revving than a three liter because the three liter is heavier you know because of all the components uh, so it's actually more fun to drive uh, the 2.5 mm. yeah, because the engine is more ready. You don't, get to, you don't get to squeeze much horsepower out of it, right? Maybe 10, 15. Yeah, 10, 15 max, right? it's, mm. yeah it's more yeah. of the response uh, of an NA engine. Uh, 
You know, when mm. you get it on the sweet spot, when you throttle the solar response. That's mm. the, and then you hear the induction you know, from the engine. You know, so it's nice. And, and this is where Bobby Hamdras, like on paper, you may make like 30 of hour. But like I see like Mike's customer come back, say, wow, 30 of hour, but the rev is so much nicer, sounds nicer, it feels better. Yes, yes, yes. yes. it's not, so, the, it's not the power. Like, this is the 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 lost art that I felt yes. uh that that Porsche is also losing this magic, you know. Mm. Because in, yes. in the in the NA era, right, everybody is digging into the engine bay trying to find things that that can either smoothen the airflow or yeah. make better response you know yes. uh, mid end talk you know they is a is a is it's a mastery it's a craft of yes. trying to squeeze horsepower out of it you know back in the era when 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 Porsches have their 3.8 you know all that right the ability to squeeze another 20 20 25 horsepower out of the NA engine is worthy of an S batch. Yeah. Right? But yes. the fuckers now in turbocharged era, <laughs> they also <laughs> carry this, you know, right? Uh, one line of code, blah, 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 blah. Okay, faster. You know, then the, the, the engine from 330 horsepower went to 380 horsepower. Yeah. But you don't feel that they are, they are really putting it's no longer a company that mm -hmm. you are buying their cars because you know the engineers behind yeah. is were having sleepless nights in trying to squeeze every bit of performance out to let you enjoy their cars, which mm -hmm. they were, right? Yeah. Now it's about the marketing team and the, and the engineering team adhering to the marketing team's plan. Okay, yeah. you release this first. Then uh, later on, you release this. Then you go number ring. You'll be able to claim this time, blah, 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 blah. And yeah. then when you launch the next one, you will rubbish this this old one because you have another <laughs> new line of software code yeah. which so pushes got, the yeah. same engine, you know? So I got a comment yeah. from James Wong. says, all any tuning is a waste of time. I mean, I kind of di disagree with that. Uh, Mike, <laughs> what, do, what do you say, Mike? I mean, I'll let you kind of uh, uh, address I this. Hear it. I hear it all the time. Yeah, I hear it all the time. And uh, I don't blame you because in this internet world, right? If you go and pray, if you go onto the Google, uh, you start googling. Mm. Uh, you know, a lot of people will say, "Yeah, NA is a waste of time." Uh, when you go, you, you go and. But that's uh. that's like saying that's like saying <laughs> yes. drawing, drawing something is a waste of time when when you can print. <laughs> right. Correct. Ah, yeah. it's yes. it's really it's really you have your two point five NA. You want to keep yeah. the driving feel of NA, and yes. where do you find that horsepower? Where do you find it? That's yes. why all of us were so amazed with Mazda. You know yes. how Mazda right. came up with this whole Sky Active thing, and how they went and study and mm. find ways to you. You can feel Mazda is the only company out there now, right? Really, yeah. is their engineers above their marketing and really operating at the very verge yes. of what they have discovered. Correct. It's, yes. amazing. it's an amazing company yes. That, yes. that they're doing all this. They are the last car maker, last volume car maker out there that is still uh, having this discipline in, 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 in pursuing something, you know, through yes. all this hard work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think and, maybe that's a bit of, sorry. Yeah, I do agree with you, because I think only last week, uh, last week, uh, you know, I tuned a 2.2 diesel Mazda 6. Uh, mm. And, you know, the way the car drives uh, is so nice. Uh, it's amazing, amazing. And it doesn't sound like a diesel at all. Yes. It doesn't and sound it, like a diesel. And it doesn't smell like a diesel. Yes. And the only the diesel the, out there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And the way the rest pulls up, uh, wow, to the red line at 5,000, uh, it is so nice and smooth. Uh. Really like a powerful NA engine. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very yeah. nice. Yes. I, I think, I think, Bobby, yeah, there's an element of casualness in here. Uh. Like you say, uh, oh, what do you want to drive for golf? Uh? How much can you get? I got 30%. Wow, me at 10%. Uh, if, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. pay. Uh. So, so yes. the people are always concerned about yeah, what you yeah. get, what I get. Why wow, you pay, say this much, I, give, I get this much. 
So that mentality yeah. is there, you see, yeah. When it's yes. supposed to be about your car, yourself, you you yeah. enjoy it, you benefit. Mm-hmm. It's not about comparing your car yeah. with somebody else's car. You know, it's mm-hmm. your car. Um, yes. If your car is better for what it is, fantastic. You know, tune to your car. And people forget yes. that. So you've yes. got proven here saying, "Hi, hey, Mike. You did yeah. your magic on my old E60 M25 F52 to B55 proper stage two. So yes, uh, it was a beautiful there car. you go, James. So there you go, James. I yeah. don't have to answer I'll, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I really think that uh, with, with Mike, uh, the tuning I did, Mike, it's more of just the, how the car revs and how the power comes. Yep. You know? It's yes. much more revving, happier. Uh, you only need to push the car to the point you reach the maximum cost power. Just yeah. operating at like 50%, 100% is more than enough. You enjoy the car. Uh, and that's what yeah. the car is all about. So what get it was in. the thing I felt most on the difference? Uh, very smooth power delivery. And of course, more power. And and actually, uh, I, I think I've said this to Mike. I I yeah. when I when Mike tuned my 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 S four, right, I really feel the difference. The difference yeah. is way more apparent than when you tune my six series. Yeah, uh-huh. I think what hap- what what's happening there is that mm. Audi, right? They yeah. really detune the S four a lot, you know, that engine, mm. because of the capability of it. Uh. because if they give you so much, ah. Uh, then mm. the RS4 Koya. Ah. Oh. <laughs> because that your car will tap out the RS4. Ah. Yeah, that yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that S4 engine is just amazing. I mean, put aside the fuel yes. consumption. Ah. Correct. <laughs> it, is, it is an amazing... And the, the way it responds, right, is so yes. much nicer than my, my RS6, you know. Yeah, it's crazy. The, of all the cars that I do, uh, up to mm. today... Uh, it's yeah. you know really today if you ask me like anything under hundred thousand ringgit right yeah you know the horsepower you gain and the response you gain oh uh, the S four man that ringgit ah uh, mm. uh, it's crazy S four S five yeah since then I've done some uh, stage three cars ah uh. uh. wow the car crazy uh, even at 200, 210, uh, you throttle the car still pull uh, crazy. <laughs> Hey, S4, right? When you are yeah. really when you are really pushing it, right? Oh. Uh, six gear drag to 250. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you are at 252, yeah. 253, right? The car up shift yeah. to seventh gear. Is that what the hell? <laughs> that, and wow. still pull on the car after ah, that. Yes, yes. And after remember, that, it's just because... the, the limit yeah. of the arrow already. It's just amazing. Yes. The engine yes. is amazing. I can remember when we did the last Evo and the row. Uh, mm. Because I left Ipo one hour earlier than you. you know? uh, I think or one and a half hours. Uh, then uh, within, before I can even reach the break point again, uh, I you <laughs> bomb past us. Uh, like I was sitting <laughs> in my car. I was doing 80, 90 miles an hour in my Corrado. Uh. You just bomb past it. Whoosh, I was because okay. I because because we were we were held back by the by our sponsor ma, at, at the Ipo stop, yes. right? Yeah. Photo la, you know, and all that all that sh- all that all that stuff, right? So I have to rush to the next stop. So on the on on the highway, I was doing like what yeah. 2, 250, 260, 250, 260, 250, 260. <laughs> so you reach that fill up again, right? <laughs> ah, so stable, it's so stable. That and then I guess the, the engine note from the Social Charger also is different than Turbo. It's just a different feel and oh. sound, vibration, whining. Yeah, all different, we, huh? we, we, we miss that car. The car is is so responsive. Yeah. yeah. My my wife always complained about the throttle response of the, the six series yeah. and uh, even the RS6, the mm. throttle response. It's not not the S force response. Yeah. 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 Super yeah. nice. Yeah. Mm. You got, I just want to say from, something just now about sure. NA cars. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you guys remember back then, I, I, I don't need to go back very far, just even 2002, 2003, right? There are, there are, there are manufacturers that produce high cams for alphas, mm. yeah. right? You will go to the workshop to, to remove your cam shaft, then you change the high cam with a different cam load profile to have a different mm. sound at a different RPM, and you gain like what? Eight horsepower, nine. Yeah. You know, and then some people right. go and buy, you know, uh lightweight pistons, you yes. know, uh uh forge uh corn rods. These are the things that are pretty much lost now. Now you just go and visit Mike Yap 
for how much you get you get another 40 50 horsepower increase <laughs> back yes, then yes. and a whoa you spend ten thousand spend yes thousand for 10 horsepower 11 horsepower yeah yeah, I mean, back back in the 80s, uh, as you can remember, you know, they buy those cams, uh, you know, from UK, mm. uh, can cams uh, and all that. Uh, yeah. To, uh, to put into, you know, the KE70 engines. Uh. Ah. <laughs> and then the car run a bit lumpy, you know, that. that maybe they gain 5 horsepower, 6 horsepower, anything like that. Yeah, lightweight yeah. flywheels, all these yes. things. Uh. Yes. No need already. Now, no need. You just, one line of code, then you get so much increase in horsepower. Correct. I mean, obviously, yeah. they are like the uh, like a, uh, there are better internals with better versions of cars, but I guess you can you can push that, like, you know, yeah, codings are there for you to push. Why not? Yes. Yeah, yeah, Power. yeah. Because yeah. because car makers now, right? They realize that if they don't make enough horsepower, they can't sell their cars. Mm. Consumers yeah. compare, and mm. if you want to achieve, let's say you want to achieve uh three hundred horsepower or whatever, right? You are actually producing your parts to be able to withstand maybe 300, 400, you know, 450. That's why there's no need to now. You know, all these components can can last with, with yes. the stock. Uh, yeah, the stock internals can last. Yes. Mm. I mean, even now, the transmissions are a lot, lot better. Very yeah, well. man. The yeah. 90s, the ZF 4-speed, ZF 5-speed. Oh, oh yes. destroyed destroyed how many families were <laughs> it? <laughs> 46 Audi Correct. A4s and oh my god, all the gearboxes. Yeah, all the gearboxes, you know, and all the CVTs. Yeah. Terrible. Oh. Eh? Terrible. <laughs> you know, all the hefty bills that come back. And that is, you know, the same bills that you guys pay now. You know, oh. they were paying it in the year two thousand know? dollars. Oh. Yeah, yes, not yes, not twenty twenty one dollars. Yeah, so yeah. actually to repair the car now is cheaper than what it cost back then. Way cheaper, way cheaper. Yeah, we got yeah. an owner of a 316 here with a, with a question. Uh, he wants to know his 316, can he be tuned with a proper bank or not? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, Mike, Mike did not do this. Actually, Mike, I want to ask. Uh, yeah. got specific program to make pop banks and, and all that, right? There is. There is. But it's, it's actually not good, right? Uh, actually, we don't recommend them. La. I mean, yeah. this one, we can do it for you, especially for the smaller engines. Uh, you know, uh, the chances of actually causing more issues than good uh, is actually uh, very, very high. La. <laughs> you know, very, very uh, high. But uh, so nice when, for me. Yes, because when the thing bags, you you know, there's back pressure like, going back inside your yeah. exhaust. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm. yes. I think, yes. I think as yes. long as you make it, as long as the pipes are removed with all the restrictions, it's mm. safer. La. The moment you put more yes. distance, you, you, you don't remove enough mufflers, chances mm. for you to go back to the uh, uh, chamber is much higher. But it's so much yes. fun. Oh. So nice. My, yes. My, yes. My, my six series, right, only has the pop bangs after a hard drive. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yes. after a and hard drive. Mode, up right? and sports mode. Yes, after a yes. hard drive up the thing, when we yes. reach the roundabout, uh, Breaking to downshift to turn into that yes. row of shops, Kotonga. That's when yeah. you will do that pop. Yes. yes. Oh, the crackle. For me, uh, for me crackles, yes, yes. For me, it's like, oh, this, is, this is real one. This is natural one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. My, my RS6, uh, I go in early morning, start the car, roll out my house. I put it in sports mode, right? I, I, I lightly accelerate and then reach a speed bump, I let go, then the, the fucker, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> hey, what nonsense, <laughs> la. <laughs> la, bitch, la, I just started yeah. the car early in the morning, like, what, what the <laughs> hell, <way? laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, these are sometimes, uh, you know, uh, going into the internet too much. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's very true. Even my N54 also, you know, mm. it doesn't feel so stable. It's quite smooth, yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's when we tekan, then only you get that crackle. Yeah. So it's ah. quite nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not all the time, <laughs> uh, you know. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. James asking pops and bangs, mapping excess fuel. Yeah, it's. I think it's like uh, your yeah. your your valve opens up a little more longer, so that fuel goes out to the uh, uh, um, yeah. exhaust. Yeah, basically dumping then... fuel, uh, Yeah, dumping yeah. fuel and pulling back your ignition, uh. So yeah. that's how it crackles. Uh. You can comfort crackles. yourself and say that you are cooling down the temperature of the combustion chamber. Lo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Yes. 
we're going to look at a uh, few more cars here. We've got three cars now side by side. So they're all, yeah. um, uh, so we've got a, um, Okay, um, let's see here. Can you see your screen? Okay, you got your F, uh, F10 here. You've mm -hmm. got your Mazda 6 and you've got your uh, Camry. They're all about the same year, I guess, you know? And they're all about 80,000 ringgit. That's the best part. Damn. So um, interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. 80, 80, 80, you know, same price, you know? Uh, yeah. And obviously, if you think about the um, watt per kilogram, that's 81, 83, and 76. And funnily enough, I thought the, the BM is much more powerful, but it seems like the Mazda 6 actually is more power to weight. It's lighter, right? Lighter, huh? Lighter car. Yeah. So uh, yeah. interesting stats there. What's the weight of the car? So the uh, BM is oh, uh, 1.69. Yep. 1690 for the BM. Mazda 6, 1.4 tons. It cannot be uh, so light, man. Now, according to this, 1393. Uh, wow! Mm -hmm. Sure, no. Check the weight. Unless Carlos is wrong. Yeah. La. <laughs> I think we put we leave the Camry out of this one. La. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave the Camry out of this one. La. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, it's very lightweight, huh? 1.4 tons, huh? Yeah. Wow. I'm asking Isaac wow. to check it. No, I think it's, it's correct. I think yeah. it's correct. Because yeah. I think uh Carlis well, might still be using like... Carlis might still be using the database compiled by Con. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Con, I think Con will answer us shortly. Yeah. It may be correct. Because if it's Con behind it, it's correct. Yeah. <laughs> because the Mazda, right? Uh, being such a it's actually a large sedan, you know. Yeah. You know, and weighs yeah. weighs same weight with a golf mark five, mark six. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I tell you this generation yeah. Camry, uh, the, the hybrid one, uh, freaking fast way. Yeah. The hybrid version of this this generation Camry. Oh my. Yeah, but God. this one is not hybrid. This, this is not hybrid, right? This yeah, one. this one two liter, right? Then yeah. uh Istana gonna ask me which one I'll pick. Ah uh, no la. Oh oh why you know already? Uh? Because I think you'll go for Mazda. I think la. No. No, uh. no, I'll go for F10 now, of course. F10 now. Uh. Yeah, we. The 2.0. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for F10. 2.0. No, visit, visit Mike Yap, 250 horsepower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah. yeah. And then you, you get 100, 100 over Newtons more. Why not? I like yeah. the Mazda 6 the way it looks, though. Uh, I don't like the first batch. I like the first facelift. Mm, the facelift one is a lot nicer. Yeah, I, I don't like the second facelift. Yeah. I like the first facelift. The one where but, the chrome bar goes into the headlamp. But the accountant mm. in me will say, well, once a BM or once a Mazda or buy the BM now, got, 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 got badging. <laughs> so. <laughs> but, but of these three cars, I'll still choose the BM. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Mm. Some, somehow now, I think for me to go back to a Japanese car, it has to be a very special car. I I, I just feel that. Um, Mazda, yeah. yeah. Mazda, the, the best handling Mazda. here is the Mazda 6. Uh. Mm. Yep, definitely. Yeah, yeah. handles so yeah. well. No comparison. Mm. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It comes to handling, no, no comparison. Uh. Yeah. yeah, so yes. nice. Yes, yes. They say the uh, F10 is so nice. Yes, yes, F10 is yes. reliable. Go and buy the F10, service it. It's a fine guys. Uh, actually, yeah. 3 Series and F10, uh, there's mm. no not much of a price difference at all mm. between yeah. the two. Yeah, yeah. If if uh, I will always choose the F10, uh, yeah. F10 mm. is so yeah. nice, right? Yeah, as, yeah. A, yeah. as, a, as a used car purchase. <laughs> As a, as a used car purchase for yeah. best bang for your buck, it's a yeah. German car, it's big, it's nice, with a, with a new yeah. paint, polished up, it looks so good. And I guess mm. the reason why I chose it, because why it's more of a uh, devil's advocate, it's how mm. good the BMW is, like, you know, the F10. And yes. if you choose your cars, you know, it's, yeah. it's fantastic power. Fantastic power, smooth. Yeah. And, and one it, has, it has, it has yeah. reached a size where... Uh, 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 subsequent five series won't grow anymore yes you know correct yeah it's a good yes. size sorry I closed yes. my windows. No oh no worries no worries yeah oh. okay and um, also you know if you mm -hmm. want more power 
yeah, yep. you, you have the Fine Tree 5, which is oh. maybe 5 or 10,000 ringgit more only. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, man. Six Linders. Five, three, five. Yeah, six yeah. Linders. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So now we've mm. got a uh, what's this? This is the um, oh A forty five versus. Uh, oh, it's, 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 it's not a versus like, This is more of what I call. This is actually what I mean, <laughs> it's fueled. You know, it's not mm. a comparison. I guess you can't yeah. compare the two, isn't it? Why? But, uh, can you? People, would you? People compare the two of them all the time. All the mm. time. Uh. Mm. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, the it's, I think it's the, really. Yeah. Is what what's the horsepower of the Golf R? This is Golf R MK7, right? 300 yeah. horsepower, right? Uh, two, I think the Malaysian ones were 280, 290. This one uh, says uh, the Malaysian ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah 280, one, 290. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, 280 horse. Uh. Yeah. Obviously and the then, A45 is faster. Uh. Yeah, 360 horses, 380. Crazy, crazy yes. fast. Yes. But I'll take and the golf, then, man. I'll take the golf. Hmm. Hmm. But if you want to go bonkers, you know, hear hmm. the sound, the badging, everything, it's the A45. La, yeah. Because after a tune, the car is quite crazy. It's monstrous. Yeah. Yeah. But then if you say everyday driving, uh, the golf is hmm. much better car. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Yeah, and I, I really better. cannot brain this, you know, like people still tune the A45. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like the car, the stock car is stage three. Like that, you know, the car feels like it's like a stage three car from stock. You know? yeah. Yeah. Bobby, one, one of Mike's uh, best income is uh, tuning A45. <laughs> yes. But the A45, actually, if you don't tune it, right, mm. you know, when you throttle, uh, mm. there's a lot of kosong one. Uh. There's nothing ah. when you first, when, you know, when uh, the low RPMs, uh, when you throttle it, uh, like as though the engine and gearbox, uh, mm. what's that happening, was, you that, know? That was intentional, you know, they, they intentionally uh, yeah. add this thing in to to avoid any accidental, like you suddenly throttle the car and then it burns a lot of fuel for no reason, you know, <laughs> they, they, they cancel the input. So I think it, it started in about 2013 or something all the European cars begin having this already. You mm. can roll the car slowly and then you just tap the throttle. Ka -tung, ka -tung, ka -tung, ka -tung, ka -tung. You just let go of it, right? Like not, nothing yeah. will happen. Uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn annoying. Eh. Oh, you uh, can so remove the thing. Uh. Can, can, can. And wow, in fact, nice. the car drives a lot, lot better. And mm. I think in your review also, you did say mm. that the engine and transmission, uh, yeah, mm. they, they, they don't talk to each other nicely. Uh. Yeah, that it's was like a they they are, Yeah, they, they 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 like kicking each other. Right? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, don't know. What's... Not in sync. Not in sync. Yeah, yeah. Mercedes mm. of 2012, 13, 14, they're yes. all like that. Yes. Oh, yo. But fortunately, we can fix a lot of those. Yeah. Mm. We can those for less up. Mm. Nice. We can nice fix to know a lot that. of those. Yeah. And then low end response is a lot, lot better. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. So all right. Now that. come to Sport Sedan. Yeah. Oh, yo, look at the resale value. Oh, no. <laughs> this Easy, is like what you're like. A4. Yeah. yeah. But that was A4. also because the, the A4 was supposed... The A4 came out to fight the W204. Mm, correct. And uh, this was when the A4 is facelift about end of life already, ma. Mm -hmm. Because mm. In, in 2015, the new A4 arrive in in european market right the b9 mm. yeah. yeah so it was a generation thingy with the resale yes. value mm. Mm. yeah yeah mm. correct, it's funny, correct it's funny someone made a comment here the uh 320 costs more than the 520i <laughs> funny yeah man yeah so there you go guys you know as we were saying earlier <laughs> yeah but then if you want to go to gaze in the weekend uh, then it makes sense lah to buy the three series lah because the five yeah. series the F ten no way. You know, <laughs> that was a yeah. sampan lah, <laughs> Yeah man, yeah man. That was a big sampan going through all the corners lah. So, so better don't. <laughs> I'll oh. take the three series here lah. Definitely take the three series lah. Yeah, mm. yeah. So so would I lah actually only on. on this uh, yo, the first yeah. batch W two o five are really are like 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 what you mentioned just now. The the transmission and the engine is like. 
<laughs> oh yo, don't know, don't know what's going on. Uh. Yeah, but actually, there's other. actually the C two hundred once you tune it, mm. it's also like the five two O like that, you know, and the three twenty. Ah, it's very it becomes very very responsive and nice, much 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 nicer to drive uh, because mm. you gain you get it to four hundred and twenty newtons. Uh, if I recall correctly, and so the car just wakes up. Ah, wakes up, yeah, wakes up nicely. Oh, nice. we got a uh, comment here from our mm. 316i three cylinder 1.5 uh, owner. Any drop top candidate? <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah. Oh, hey, Tana, you choose one, uh, all those cars. No, no, yeah, where's again, your drop again. top? Yeah, I know yeah. like you're still sore about your Boxster and your MG, is it? <laughs> no, no, I want to ask Tana. All the, all the cars that we're seeing just now, is it all, all, all picked by you? And... The first few, the first few is mine. That's what uh, I uh, yeah. So all, all these are actually cars that if people buy, the first thing they should do is to visit my yard, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. I, I think that the, 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 the messaging here is that... Um, all new cars that are German, I think the reliability has gone up so much higher now. I mean, yeah. go spin onwards, they're yes. reliable. Uh, yeah. Tuning is not really a concern because you can make it reliable and drive it every day. Uh, yeah. Comes to value wise, you look at it, like the pricing is so different, you see. And I think being a accountant, mm -hmm. you go like, wow, seriously, you're a Camry and this one, what are you gonna get? Why am I buy a Camry when you can buy, let's say, <laughs> uh, Audi or a BMW, you know, for the same yeah. price? It, it is so much value more. And on top right. of that, it is, as is, is, is good. And you tune yeah. it, it's even better. Yes. And then you're like, you're like, it's. I mean, we're living in an age of buy. Tuning is software, as you said, like, you know. Yeah. Um, ten years ago, if you buy a car ten, twenty years ago, uh, car, cars were tuned by, um, like you said, like, you know, uh, rods, the flywheels, and and, and all mm. these things. Like, if you are in a perfect time of, of space to buy cars to, to tune and to get more power out of yeah. this, it's beautiful. If you don't yeah. do it now, I think it's a waste. Like, because the way I see Bobby in the next uh five years of cars cars will be tuned for factory i think that the, the gain you'll get from tuning in another five ten years will be lesser than what is mm. now now you get 10 15 percent good bank of buck in the future maybe mm. five percent three percent you know yeah we're actually getting yeah. there already um, yeah so yes. so yeah so enjoy the what we have now i guess that's the point we're trying to make with this messaging where, but where i always tell yeah. yeah i always tell people if your budget is uh you you you, you wanted a 328i but then your budget is 320i you take your 320i budget to hunt around for 328i <laughs> yeah yes. just nego nego the crap out know. of it yeah yeah, yeah. you, you and, can and, find deals around actually yes yes yeah, and i think, and I think in, in, in malaysia the 328i and 320 i maybe make the same amount of money because why people won't buy the higher dispersion cars they buy the smaller engines so, yeah. so you, you it might be the same amount of money actually. The only difference is only yes. the uh, tax la. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, even you might even uh, find yeah. a five three five i for five two o i money, you know, because yes. of the rotax. Yes. Rotax, yes. Right. And, exactly. And the five three five is half a million, no? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really, yeah. So it's great value for money. Yeah. Great value for money. Yeah. Mm. We got yeah. Sean here again. I want to yeah. ask as I saw one of your posts on 520d stage 2 tune want to have mm. your opinion on the difference between 528 stage 1 stage 2 one got 50 horsepower more other one got 50 more torque well this is a tough one see whether you uh, what are you using the car for yeah it's a give yeah. and take situation i know bobby will take the petrol car oh, sure. i don't like because diesel i don't like because diesel. the refs yeah. Yes, yeah. I don't like diesel. Yes, but if you do a lot of highway miles, yeah, then I think you take the diesel. Uh, if you're a high mileage guy, you yeah, don't go wrong Malaysia, with Malaysia yes. pet petrol prices, right? Petrol price is yeah. so cheap, right? Correct. Yeah, correct. You know, some In people comparison. they go and they go and refill their car. Uh, after they refill, they go walk into the petrol station. They go and buy a, a, a Costa coffee, large one, mm. right? Then uh, maybe they pick up some snacks. The unnecessary coffee and the unnecessary snack, right, is enough for from 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 round ninety five to round ninety seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 You 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 could and you can, you can easily afford 
V power racing, you know, but yeah. some people just just couldn't get over the mindset. One yeah, one is- one Musang King Durian is uh, same as one full tank. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Exactly. Yes. You know, so so Malaysians them weird one lah. Yeah, complain this expensive, that expensive, and then go and spend on. And, I don't know. And actually, yeah, uh, if you go and pump your car, right, run ninety five. Yeah. You know, mm. because I got to test it uh, because I'm, I'm tuning cars. Uh. 95, yeah. 97, you go around 100, you go with power. Uh. Definitely, mm. you will feel all the differences. Uh. Even though I give you a 95 tune, right? You mm. go jump into all these different petrol. Uh. Wow, mm. it's a huge jump, you know, in the performance. Mm. Yeah, you go and, and drive the car. And, 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 and I must say about diesel, Euro 5 diesel is so, so good. Bobby is like, Wow, day and night. I don't know petrol, but diesel cars when you pull the uh, Euro Five, it just wakes up. Yeah. It's just crazy. Yeah. Uh, difference. Yes. Uh, yes. And we got a diesel question here. How's the E three hundred diesel hybrid any tuning potential? Of course. Yeah, there is right? a tuning debate. Of course, yeah. Right? yeah. All cars yes, have yeah, diesel. Got yes. Yeah. And somehow with the hybrid, you know, we can unleash your motor for a bit more top So right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, which you have encountered right in your in your a6 yeah i mean i mean we get the question a lot can you tune this car can you tune the car i think all cars can yes. be tuned essentially yes it's more what yeah. call is that expectation what you have and what you get mm. is it meets what you what, what you are looking for like that's the only yeah. thing but all cars can be tuned uh come over to the tuning and you can uh, check us out so we're gonna wow, go back yeah. to the to the uh, thing uh we're gonna end shortly <laughs> actually we're gonna be our 12 mark Two hours early, man. Yeah. yeah so we got the Livok on the left, and we got the um, the uh, C220 wagon on the right. One is wagon. 158, one is 188. Wagon now. Hmm. Mm, cannot see that. One second. I'll make it oh, now. okay. Sorry. What wagon? Is, oh, Livok. Livok. Yep. I've never driven a Livok, Bobby. How, how is it? Eh? Nice. Nice, nice huh? Very nice. CVT, like the, but but it's the nicest CVT out there. Mm. I, I I find Subaru is like handles very well, but I always feel that not enough power in the Subaru that I've driven. Oh. So, so I just felt the car is a. Uh, I mean, I had a Subaru wagon, right? Mm-hmm. I just felt the Lebok could have been a little bit bigger. You know, the car just feels like a. It's almost just in between the size of a B segment and C segment. Doesn't yeah, it's not like there. Uh, 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 but 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 mm. it's a damn nice car. But I have a soft spot for, for this generation C class wagon, the, the way it looks. <laughs> yep, but hey, the Levok, uh, I want to say the Levok, the CVT gearbox uh, is a gangster CVT gearbox. Right? You put it in manual mode, right? Mm. You downshift the car, right? The fucker don't upshift on it. Right? Oh, so it's really yes! manual. Uh. Oh, I mean, being wow. a CVT, being a CVT, it has wow. virtual gears, right? <laughs> yeah. And it gangster, it just holds it there, right? You 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 rev and rev and rev. It doesn't auto upshift, you know, like like go to the next ratio, right? The, the bugger just hold it there, you know. It's like, and then and then when I drive the car, I'm like, why the hell Subaru took the trouble to put in a CVT? You know, it's like yeah. when they program it to behave like a badass torque converter. Yeah. Why did why did they use CVT first of all? Where? What do you mean? No, why? Why did they use CVT no, first of all? Across the oh. board. Across the board, all Subarus are CVT now. Yeah, since the late 2000s. Uh, uh, they started the CVT, I think. No, uh, or late 2000s. Uh, 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 the, no, since they the started XV, the hatchback, the hatchback uh, as a uh, WRX. XV. Uh, 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 then the last one before we end today's show is on the logistics stands. We've got RS6 there, Bobby. Did you know that? Same well? price, man. Cannot be same price, right? <laughs> Cannot be la. What's oh, the price? Spot here? Turismo show low price now. Ah. Show fast. Oh, ah. 700. Mm. Oh. I I mean for, for those who 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 are looking at Panamera versus RS6, let me tell you this, right? The RS6 cannot hold a candle near Panamera when it comes to drive and handling okay. and just about everything else that both cars do. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's not even near, you know, it's not even it's not even 
30-40% of the handling of a Panamera. You know, the Panamera just 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 drives amazing. Actually, actually why, why, did, why did I buy an RS6? I should have bought a Panamera. <laughs> yeah, yeah different, <laughs> different, actually different level. Yeah, different level. Uh, you know, I've been uh, driving a lot of Porsches also. Mm, and mm. I feel that, you know, on the not so much on Panamera and all this. Lah. Let's say even their Boxsters, their Caymans, yeah, and the 911. Lah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the DNA shows, you know, in all of these cars. Hey, bro, those yeah, are the sports cars, what? Those yeah, are the sports cars. But the cars, DNA, right? the DNA is there. Yeah. And but from Panamera from the cars until now, uh, yeah. yeah the, the DNA is still there. Yeah, so I, I, I just do it so brilliantly. Amazing la, the, the Panamera for the size of mm. the car, the way it drives, and yeah. um it's, it's it's just an amazing car. And, and that 2.9 engine, I really have to say, man. I I went for the, the Panamera Global Media Drive in Greece mm. and uh, I drove the the Panamera, which is the three liter, and then uh the S, which is the 2.9, and also the turbo, which is the four liter V8, same as the new yeah. RS6 engine. La. The, I had the most fun in the 2.9. That yes. engine is that is a turbocharged engine that just loves to rev. It just Actually, goes that like, is, oh, 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 lovely yeah. engine. Lovely. Actually, that's the one in the RS4, right? In the new RS4, yes. Yes, the 2.9. Brilliant, brilliant yes. engine. Brilliant yes. engine. I haven't oh, driven that one before. Yeah, but oh my god, that engine is the just 2.9 amazing. Where's engine? The, the 4 liter is the same as the Mercedes 4 liter, the same as my RS6 4 liter. All it does is, you know, and then, and then you lift off, and then you lift off, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Ah, the 2.9 is just amazing. Yes. yes. So he's, James is asking, uh, Panamera 4S, whole version. Whole version. The 4.8. 970. 971. Uh, I heard so <laughs> much. Okay, that was, I, I, I love the old Panamera more than the new Panamera. Don't ask me why. I just love it. I have a soft spot for it. Uh, I got married in that car, and uh, and and everybody. I mean, I always look at that car, and then me and my wife, both of us, we have a special memory with the Panamera because the time when Porsche asked me, hey, "Bobby, you're getting married now?" I said, "Yeah, you love Panamera, right?" Uh, and then I was like, "Yeah, of course, you know that." Then they Porsche passed me the car for two weeks, eh, almost. Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. I had the car for Good almost memories, two uh. weeks, you know. Yeah. Mm. Yes yes, yes. 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 And uh, I, I love that car. Man. It's um, the yeah. four point eight V eight, you know. But uh, down the road, I heard so many horror stories of that engine. Everybody in the industry yeah. just tells me, "Bobby, do not touch that four point eight. Do not touch it." So, yes. so I didn't didn't went for it. Really, a lot, a, a very troublesome engine. Yes, very troublesome. Mm. And also, and uh, today, if you drive the car, right. Mm. It, it feels the heft and the weight and everything, uh, yeah, because the car yeah, yeah. Uh, already, right? So, yes. you know, your suspension bushes and all that. Uh. Uh, so, uh. Uh, so <laughs> you do feel that. Uh. We are talking about wedding cars and incidentally, my wedding car yeah. was actually a Honda Legend, you know, the 3.2. Oh, Legend. <laughs> yes. And uh, earlier on, just now, I saw uh, my one of our friends here and also my customer, you know, Joseph uh, was asking about that car, you know, and I think Proven owns that car before. Nice. Uh, yes. 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 The, the curved rear windscreen, right? Yeah. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice car, that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. All right, guys, you know, we have already gone past two hours. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I need to bring my yeah, daughter to the, tarik, to the tarik tarik session. <laughs> Very long yeah. tarik session. Yes. Okay, Bobby, thanks yeah. for joining us. Bobby, yeah, thanks for joining thanks us, Bobby. Everyone. You know, yeah. Okay. Thank okay, you, guys. guys. Thank you for inviting. Yeah. yeah. So you guys stay safe. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, catch you guys on our next day tarik session sometime next week. Yeah. All right. Another day, another topic then. <laughs> okay. All right. I go bring my thanks. daughter to the park. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay.